Armand, is Armand here? Nope. Armand is not here. Okay. <laughs> uh, is Eric here? I guess. All right. Lorenz, are you here? We in here. All right. Good to hear. Good to hear. And lastly, is Tofu here? Sure, dude. All right. Sounds good. So, welcome to our new campaign, The Masks of Celeron. Hope you all are going to have a fun time. So, we jump right in, shall we? Here we have our lovely world map for everyone. No tokens, of course, but you should still be able to see the map. Yeah. So we're going to go over some backstory real fast, a little bit of story, you know how it is. A few thousand years ago, Acel Duran Magina created the world and the gods used magical abilities to speed up time and reset the universe. New land masses are formed, new races, animals, and plants came with it. Some never before seen, some thought to have been long, ex long extinct. With the new world came new empires and new lands to explore and conquer. One of these continents was Utern, which rose from the sea to the northwest of the mining colonies, stretching as far north as the former Strebe Empire had reached. Of course, with new lands came new claims to the lands, and conflict soon formed. The Tehran Empire and the Strebe Empire both had immediate claim to the land masses being closest to it, with each taking half the continent for themselves, splitting along the twin split river, with the area in between becoming a ceasefire zone until the rebellions the rebellions war started a thousand years ago after the rebirth of the world. The cause is still argued by the world's greatest historians. However, it came from a combination of distance from the capitals, thus influencing each empire, thus each influence from the empire was low, or a cultural difference where both halves of the continent shared common activities and ideals due to the land they shared. But the predominant belief is that the eventual war between the Tehran Empire and Strebe Empire that took place 975 years ago led to a large distrust of the leaders from both empires. Eventually, the Uteran continent was able to fight off both the Strebe Empire in the north and the Tehran Empire in the south. Rather than have an empire named after the birth name of a leader, the, the major towns and cities of Uteran elected a king to lead until his death or by replacement of a supermajority of the towns and cities' representatives. The name given to the empire was the Uteran Empire, named after the continent as a whole to show the unification and desire to think bigger than themselves. Since a thousand years have passed, the old heroes who saved the world have passed away, leaving their mark by the masses following them on their heroic actions. Esel Duran Magina decided upon the death of the final hero to grant them the first honorary demigod distinctions. Most of the empires from before have fallen or adopted new names. With the changing times come new technologies as well. Airships have been developed and can and the largest airship company operates out of some of the major cities, allowing people to quickly travel between major points. And the world seems good. However, not everything may be as it seems. All right. So, in the northern forest, one of one of the two biggest forests in Utern, walking from one end to the other would take about 10 days, if you're lucky not to get lost wandering the labyrinth of trees that lay as far as the eyes can see. You decided to accept a job posted on a board outside the Capitol building in Twin City. And the job is pretty straightforward. One of you guys holds up uh, a job poster. It says, wanted. Adventurers needed to find a missing airship. Last week, an airship never landed at the Miramar airstrip after taking off from Twin City. So Twin City is right here in the middle, and Miramar is up here in the uh, top left over here, beneath the, over here. Suppose so some Twin Cities or... Uh, Twin City is like two on both sides of the river, so it's one big city. Was that where it was supposed to go? Is that you? It, was, it started here and it was going to Miramar. Oh. So it was traveling to the northwest. Uh, last week, an airship never landed at the Miramar airship after taking off from Twin City. It is unknown why the ship never reached its destination, but rescue of the crew members and retrieval of the contents on the ship will be greatly rewarded by the king. The reward is paid for by the Moriarty Service, the transportation branch of the Moriarty Foundation. Very basic yeah. job note, nothing too special. So, we are here. You guys can see. The one that got on own. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. <laughs> it's because I have already, to add. Man. It's been what, 20 minutes. We gotta man. add this one yeah. person right here. <laughs> it's okay. Alright. The leader of the party, Ernesto Florencia, this man right here, 
in the middle right next to you guys. What the grave order and the the <laughs> nice on the use. We can led by Spaniard. Yeah. Actually he's Italian, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, wait, where are we? Are we in some forest or some shit? You are in the northern twin forest right now. Columbus V2, baby. <laughs> All right, the leader of the party, Ernesto Florencia, former star sergeant in the Uteran army, was taken the front line in no man's land. It was taken off the front line in no man's land after he had lost his hand in battle. He has a wooden hand replacing it, but a skilled swordsman with his rapier. He is rugged and cold, constantly checking the skies. Right. He, he says... Uh, he is, he's talking to himself. You can hear him describe this battle that once had taken place a long time ago when he lost his hand. Damn. Jeez. Whoa. We get your backstory. He, That's crazy. He explains <laughs> that during his tour where he lost his hand, he was on the front lines of the designated no man's land where he saw this terrible creature collecting bodies off the battlefields and that it blew into a whistle device and these giant birds descended on his battalion. The creatures were all rocks, 50-foot-tall monsters with 150-foot wingspans, covering the sun as they dive-bombed, snatching people with their talons and ripping off heads and arms and limbs with their beaks. He managed to cut off one of the talons off of a rock before the bird bit off his hand. The last thing he remembers is passing out from the pain and waking up afterwards, being the last of his battalion, 50 people killed under his watch because he wanted to flank the enemy through a recent battlefield. In the distance, when he woke, he saw the terrible creature adding the fallen bodies of his comrades to his back, and the creature seemed to grow after each body added. He then says afterwards that he constantly checks the skies for rocks, looking to see if something like that will ever happen again. And he explains that he seems to have blanked on all your guys' character names and asks you again what your names are and why did you take this job. Right, how we start? <laughs> Whoever wants you to go talk first. first, so you go first. Yep, introduce your character. So. Uh, hold up, my name is uh, Key Caltred. I'm a ranger. I'm here in search of uh, adventure and great discovery of knowledge of nature and also money. Most, most, most likely money. Definitely money. Okay. What's up, guys? My name is Peter Johnson. I'm here to make a name for myself and make everyone not think I'm daddy's boy. All right. I want to thank uh, Peter Jackson over there for the shout out. I'm Guy. We're bro. <laughs> Peter Jackson. For the shout -out. Peter Johnson, bro. Peter bro. I got that shit right. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, shit, but we broke, man. Mm -hmm. That's it. I need that monies. All right, need that monies. Okay, mm, yes, sir. Man. The name's Gorin. I'm just here for some gold. My name is Narius Hawklight. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm the fucking best out here, so stay the fuck out of my way. I am the Nazi. See about that. <laughs> I am the Nazi. Don't talk Something. back to me, dog. Yeah, that's funny. I am the Nazi Stridebreaker too. Like that. you can just call me the Nazi or Stridebreaker, whatever one you want. I'm just here to perfect my skills as a juggernaut and to find my master's master. Is that everyone? I think so. What about Juicer over here? Unless that's somebody else. No. No, let's see. Juicer. Juicer doesn't exist no more. True. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he dead already. He he feels he's, bad. Just, he'll, he's just not here today. It's okay, though. All right. After you guys introduce yourselves again, you guys come to a small clearing in the tree line right here, where you guys are currently. And Ernesto points ahead. And I need everyone to roll a perception check. Right. <laughs> Fucking starts, bro. <laughs> Somebody's dying right here, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. No, it's gonna be me. <laughs> it's gonna be me. Oh, what, 20? 
Man, what you mean is gonna be you, man? What you mean is gonna be you, bitch? How oh. are we putting it in? The, are we putting our rules in the chat like last time? Yep, put your rules in the chat. Oh, oh no! Hold on. Did I that wrong? Hold on. Oh, no. Yeah, you do exclamation roll and then D20. Oh. Exclamation oh, no. roll. Man. She. She. <laughs> <laughs> Did I really roll the highest? 13 is okay. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Negative one? <laughs> Negative one? I'm gonna be honest. Okay, okay, okay. Negative. Okay. There we go. Thank you, well, Let me give you the wow, rundown. Nice. Let me, let me, we, don't oh, we don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. Okay. <laughs> so, here we have... Okay. <laughs> so... Key immediately sees what Ernesto's pointing out in the tree line. The only one who can see it. Uh, Key, as you look ahead where he's pointing, you can see parts of a balloon and what appear to be pieces of wood sticking up from a tree about 60 feet ahead of you in this giant tree ranch over here. Uh, ahead of you, you can see about a cliff, like a cliff face, about 25 feet ahead of you that has about a 10 foot drop. Uh, you can see on the ground, there's like branches all over the ground. There's some boxes and crates that seem to have fallen from the airship as it was crashing and stuff like that. Hmm. All right. I mean, I'm down to investigate what happened with the crash site. Okay. So you guys should be able to move your characters over uh, to get to the cliff face because the cliff does wrap all the way around the ship. So you guys will have to figure oh, out a way down. Going this way. Yeah, we gotta go around. Well, true. I guess so. There's too many trees. I mean, it's not like we'll get a ranger. DM? DM, I would like to hop down. Alright, it is a 10 foot drop, so you'll have to roll an athletics check. That's true. <laughs> That's true. That. I got a 21. Alright. So you successfully managed to jump the 10 feet. Boom. No no issue there. You feel a little bit twinging in your ankles a little bit because of the impact, but not, not that doesn't hurt at all. It's just a little like, ooh, that was a weird landing right there. I would hold on. Like, so I'm, I, gonna, I'm just going to tell you what I rolled. It's a, it's a nat one. Okay. So, Tofu, what you do is as you are about to uh, hop down, you trip and tumble down the 10 feet. So I need you to roll 2d6. <laughs> <laughs> I'm weak. Already, bro. <laughs> eight. All right, you take eight damage from falling ten feet. You're level one, bro. He's <laughs> <laughs> almost dead, bro. That was good. <laughs> we did it. Shit. Okay, did my power just go out? That's not good. Can, and can I climb a tree to see if I could see anything else? Yes. Uh, roll a athletics check again for me. Athletics check. Hold up. <laughs> Yo, can I already drop out? This ain't going well. This <laughs> place <laughs> now what HP. <laughs> I already took damage. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, I started off with a three and then we got a one, baby. <laughs> I'm 14 plus three, so I think I'm good. Hold All right. On. Yep, so you're able to successfully climb a tree. Which tree would you like to climb? I have to climb uh, probably the one closer to the cliff face, right? So I guess like this one. All right. Okay. As you climb up to the top of the tree, you end up about here. Uh. You can see a crater off from the distance on the far side of the lake next to you guys. About right there, so. It's unknown what caused the craters, however, it doesn't look naturally made. As if something, like, formed it. Okay. I don't know if we might be in trouble investigating this joint. I think we'll be fine, but be wary for encounter. Alright. You said we gonna be fine. Alright. So... Everyone else looks like they successfully hopped down the cliffside face. Let me roll for uh, my boy Ernesto. Ernesto about to roll on that yeah, one. I hope he rolls a one too, man. Fuck that guy. <laughs> on that one. Uh, so he only takes 1d6 damage. So he takes 2 damage to himself. Okay. 
I only hopped down because I knew I had plus five to my athletics. Hey, so did I. I was going to do that, and I chose against it. Because <laughs> I, I thought about that having to survive. Athletics. <laughs> I thought about having to survive in nature versus us just doing random shit like last time. Yeah. All right. So it takes two damage going down the cliffside face. Do you want to hop on down from there, uh, Michael? Or are you going to keep on staying up there? I think I think uh, I'll join them. Yeah, I'll hop on down. Okay. From the tree. <laughs> from, from the tree. Okay, wait, okay, wait, there's water, there's water, there's water, there's water, there's water, there's water, right? There's Do water. you want to make it to that water, man? That's that's a quiet distance. That's like 10 feet a... jump distance right there, plus the 10 How foot down you... on the cliff. How much do you care about your character? I'm sorry, I care. Yeah, I'm trying to think about this, right? Because it's not... <laughs> it's an athletic... You know what? I'm going to be... I'm going to climb down the tree nicely and hop down the cliff nicely. Okay. All right, roll an athletic check to hop down the cliff. Very good. Because I was like, would that be cool? If I just like hop down the whole tree? <laughs> it's gonna be like it's gonna be like that one story i heard uh i saw i saw a video where guys like the first time i played D with older people they i said my character drops down from the heavens with the fist of a mighty like thing dust flies everywhere from the career he makes and the dm just rolls like you take 1500 damage and die instantly for that one like, <laughs> this is the end, this is the end of the legend okay i got a five bro. plus three that's eight i'm not doing it it's not working all right so i need you to take uh one d6 damage 1d6 damage, okay. You can roll a d6 and roll 20, right? Okay, man. Yep, just roll a... Uh, yeah. That's my yeah. point, roll d6, like, whatever it is. Yeah. I, I walk up to uh to Juicer. It's not Juicer. It's uh, guy. What's, What's your name? Guy, it's Guy We Broke. Guy We Broke? <laughs> 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 I walk up to Guy and I'm like, damn, dude. You don't look too good over here. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we chill. What you mean? We fine. Oh, no. sure, bro. I, I, I can hear you real quick, dog. We just, we just gotta take a trip to the water real quick, man. To the water real quick. Yo, top me up too. I'm, I'm down. I'm crippled. Top me up. Hey, hey, it's, it's not 2021, but it's fantasy land. You can do whatever you want. It's cool. <laughs> he said, "Top me up." <laughs> what a joker! What a joker! Whatever, you know, we'll worry about it later. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's cool. It's cool. Man, we chilling, man. We chilling. He said, "He chilling." We got it later. Go on, Ernesto. Go ahead. So Ernesto walks over to the uh, the trees that have the airship under it. You know how it is. He walks over there. Because there's a there's a small clearing where you can distinctly see like the the tarps hanging down and everything like that. Man's hidden feet for real. We're waiting for a guy to come over here, or is he just gonna rest over there by the cliffside? You know, he's taking a little breather, man. <laughs> taking a little breather, okay. He, 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 All right. He's gonna, gonna walk a bit slow, you know. He got a little limp. He's got a little limp. He get broke a leg or something. He herniated a disc on the landing. <laughs> Not twisted limb. I was gonna say it's almost like he's twisted limb. <laughs> right. <laughs> Alright, so as you guys approach the airship, you can see a bunch of vines uh stretching down from the trees that reach up to the ship, of course. There's no distinctly easy way to get up to the ship. Uh and you see that the, the ship's about 30, 45, 30 to 40 feet up in the air, whatever it is. So you have to climb the vines to get up there. All right. Can I try and climb one? Yes, I need, I need you to roll me two athletic checks. All right. Uh, oh, no. Is that one to get on and one to climb? They're, okay, the first one. I'm rolling good today! Is that? All right, so you no. successfully managed to climb the first 15 feet. The second one. Okay, you managed to climb the rest of the 15 feet. Oh, Lorenz rolled an that one. I'm staying down here. Is that a natural one, Lorenz? Or like after a modifier one? Oh, wait. Yeah, you're right. So, I mean, it'd be two. 
<laughs> Alright, so that's a natural one that happened before a modifier. Oh, no. Hey, you rolled for it to happen, Lauren. So what happens is you climb up to 15 feet, and you fall. So you take 1d6 damage. Actually, you take 2d6 because it was a natural one failure. Oh my god, this is content already. Oh no. Oh my god. Are we going to get bodied by nature? <laughs> Did you die? I'm having a I'm having a <laughs> He died. I'm at zero hit points. Kyle's not here yet, bro. Hold on, 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 hold on. Wait, wait, I I halt climbing up, and I'm like, hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> he hit his head. He, he hit his head on a rock. I pull out my water sack. Oh, I just I pull out my water sack. I walk up to my meds, and I cast healing hands. Okay. So what's my level up? What's my charisma modifier? Uh, what's my charisma modifier? Our man's had a solid 4 HP. Nice. Game back 4 HP. Mm. No, man had a solid life or death experience. <laughs> <laughs> not even in the first fight, he almost died. Man, I, I, I'm dead. dead. I was you mean? dead. I was dead. I was dead. I was dead. Oh my god. That is. You know, technically, I'm still a kid, so. Well, that's a, oh, Technically. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So I'll just stay down here, guys. I'll investigate down here. Yeah, uh, I'll stay bro. I'm staying down here too. Do my 16 and 17 get me up there? Yes, they do get you up there. Right. Uh, does, my, does my 21 and 12 get me up there? Yes, it does. I guess hitting that one. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, could I, um, could I, uh, could I throw my, uh, 50 feet of rope down to the board? Absolutely. Right. See, because yeah. vines are, vines are skinnier, it's hard to grip a rope. Rope has that textile to it, like, you yeah. get, it's got I'll, the texture. I'll take my, my rope out, and I'll throw it over the side for the boy. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna look at the boy. You got it this time, man? I got you. <laughs> Yeah, are you going to catch me if I I'm fall? I'm going to rope action to catch him, man. <laughs> okay. Crying. Yeah, hold up. He needs a support net. Wait, that tarp, though. Wait, there's tarp on the bottom, right? Like, weak, bro. Uh, yeah. Right That's just, like, balloon stuff down there. There's, like, balloon stuff. Yeah, it's, like, because the airships use giant balloons to, like, as their thing. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Like, if somebody falls, we can just make, like, a like one of those trampoline joints or something. I don't even know, man. Like, I mean... <laughs> If you fall, if you fall out, it's fifty feet down, so that's five d six damage right there. Man, I got you. I can cast you, bro. I got you. Fall damage is a pain in the ass. You can roll all ones and still live. It's fine. All ones and still live. Yeah, unless you're Lore unless you're Lorenz has got four HP. No, yeah, I'm also crippled too, though. That's why I'm like. <laughs> oh yeah, we got a bunch of cripples over here. <laughs> oh, for real? Actually, yeah, yeah. No, I'm up here. We're chilling. Anyways, DM. Alright, so the people who wanted to climb successfully managed to climb up the airship. Uh, you guys enter the front half of the ship, and you don't seem to find anything there. Uh, however, on, you hear some noises coming from the back side of the airship over here. Is it too late to go down the rope? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to go down the rope, you're more than welcome to. Will you make it down the rope? Yes, I'll make it down the rope. <laughs> But you don't know what's in the forest if you're down there by yourself. I'll stay here. Uh -huh. <laughs> stay here. All right. So Ernesto goes to the back of the ship over here. I guess I'll follow Ernesto. I will also. first, Peter. Oh, yeah. Ernesto, go first, Peter. I'll follow you. So as you guys enter the back of the airship, you see this door. That's closed. It seems to line up almost perfectly with where the ship broke up. So it's like literally like torn pieces of wood, broke pieces of wood, and then a door perfectly closed. No issue. And you, you hear some conversations coming from 
beyond the door. So what would you guys can like to we, do? Can we audibly hear them, or is it kind of muffled because of the door? Uh, if you listen closely, you might be able to hear them. All right, what kind of check should I roll for that, sir? Roll a... Perception? Uh, yeah, I'd do a perception for that one. Ooh, damn, this is not that good. <laughs> I... So... Can I roll for a second wind, man? <laughs> <laughs> no, because that's only used as a rea as a bonus action. Damn it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm weak. Man, man that's not a good man. Man, I'm good. I got it. This is really man versus nature. That's what I'm saying. Bear grows in this bitch, bro. Go fuck that guy. <laughs> so, what you guys hear? Oh, I didn't roll anything. My bad. So Adam can't hear this. Okay. More bean. I rolled a. I rolled a twenty. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Ernesto can't hear them either. By the way, he didn't do too good. Uh, so we have Peter Johnson, our uh, Goron. And I always I'm trying to remember like pay by everyone's names. Uh, where's my man? Canary. And we have uh, Cunarius. Cuna uh, I can I can hear it. Q, bro. All right, Q, Peter, and fuck, I just had the last one too. Goron, yeah, Goron. You guys successfully hear the conversations, and, and you hear it sounds like normal yeah. people talking. They're speaking in common. They're saying. They shouldn't be back yet. It's still daylight outside. What, what's the noise? Some, someone should go check. I'm not going to go check. You go check. And if people are arguing amongst themselves, they don't want. They are obviously don't want to leave the room they're in. Bro, you should kick the door down. Kick the door down. How many people do you think are in there? It doesn't matter. I'll hand you them all. <laughs> hey, somebody feeling like the man. I mean. I got your follow up, I guess. Bro, I'm about it. Bro, I'm All right, about roll it. a str roll a strength check for me. You want to kick down at the same time? Strength. If you guys want to do it at the same time, then you guys will roll at the same time. We'll take the highest number of them. Okay. Cool. I rolled a seventeen. I rolled an unnatural twenty. Okay, so you guys successfully managed to kick down the door and one like at the same time. Like those old 80s cop movies where they just bust down the door. Splinters are going everywhere. Inside the room, you guys see 12 crew members uh, with their with their Moriarty service. They have their little blue jacket on. They have on uh, like blue pants and everything like that. And they, they seem to be pretty well fed, all things considered. They've been crashed here for a couple of days. Uh, they're a little, un little like untucked, though, but they seem to be well eaten and well rested. No, I thought it'd be more of a wreck in here. Uh, yeah, it, it, the boat perfectly split in half. Un, like it's amazing how it happened. And so you see the twelve members there, but you see like on the wall behind them, there's a a rack of like where they put their clothes and stuff. But there's fifteen racks available, but only twelve of them are present. So, are uh, there some of you guys missing? I see stuff uh, missing on the rack over there. And they look at each other back and forth and explain, yes, uh, three of us are no longer here. Uh, two of us fell out of the airship while I was crashing, and uh, they fell to their deaths somewhere in the forest. Uh, their names were uh, Mike and Carrie. Shame. Mike, Mike had two kids with a third on the way, and Carrie was taking care of his ailing grandmother. But the money he was getting from this job, shame, shame that our uh, our death benefits aren't that great. It happens, and the, our third, his name was uh, his name was Terrence. Terrence thought he could go over to the front side of the boat, but as soon as he peeked his head out and started walking across, a giant bird appeared, and swooped him up and took him up and ate him. I want to look. I want to look to um, Ernesto and ask him if he thinks it's the same shit from his flashback. Ernesto says, 
I don't know. There there are a lot of rocks in in the world. Uh, I don't think it'll be the same one, but it could be. It it could be. It could not be. But if there's a giant bird terrorizing people, I think we should do our best to try stopping it. It's, uh, the the crew members explained that they've been surviving the past couple of days eating the food and drinks that were on the ship, uh, but don't report that to the Moriarty service when they get back because they'll deduct it from their paychecks for eating food and stuff. Uh, because it says in their contract that any like time they're lost or hurt or anything like that, and they have to use funds, they have to take it out of the next paycheck. Terrible contract, but it's the most well-paying job they could find in the area. Uh, they explained that there is cargo on the ship belonging to the Moriarty Foundation, and they only have two of the three boxes on board, but the third one fell out during the crash and actually can be seen from the portholes if you look through it. Can I take a look through the porthole? Yep, roll perception. You are not able to see it. As you look at the borehole, all you can make out is tree branches, leaves, and stuff like that. I don't see any cargo. Yeah, it's, it's over there. It's, I, I don't see it. It's, no, it's over there. <laughs> <laughs> so how did the ship crash? Let me read my thing. He, the, the crew member explains that when they were flying through a, a giant bird uh, swooped past and cut the balloons with its talon as it flew past at blistering speeds. And they, they explained that before it happened, they started to get really like really hot as if something was like, uh, as if they were coming closer to the sun, like Icarus in the old story. So they flew clo too close to the sun and the sun burned them. They described it as like an immense heat. And so they say the two crates of the Moroti service are right here next to us. And the third one is actually like, there's a little crater over by the lake. If you can't see it from here, it's okay. But there is a small crater directly ahead, like directly in front of us. Did the package create the crater? Uh, no, it shouldn't. There was nothing to, nothing to like, like that in there. No. What's in the, what's in the cargo? They say, we don't know. We haven't checked it. Uh, if you want to, you're more than welcome to. I, I don't think we can really stop you, but we wouldn't have it. Let's open it up then. <laughs> Alright, so uh, you guys open up the crates. You find some basic supplies, some parchment paper, inkwells, quills. Uh, there's also a closed folder that says, For the Eyes of Moriarty Fox Only. Say that one more time. For the eyes of Moriarty Fox only. Fox being F A L K S. Hmm. Oh, who's gonna open it? I'll try and play rock, paper, scissors or some shit. Fine, I'll open it. And the crew members like, uh, uh, uh and they're they kind of just like retreat back because they know they can't really stop you. Inside is a letter written in a language that many of you probably haven't seen before. Hmm. If uh, roll an intelligence check for me. Good thing I'm not stupid no more. <laughs> Must be nice. Damn, I'm so stupid. I'm done. Great. I'll agree with you. I don't know if I can help you with this one because mine's kind of low. I'm done. With hey, that's not that bad though. I got an 18. Yeah. Ernesto has a 19. I rolled a 16. I rolled All right. an 8. Alright. So, Garan and Ernesto are able to decipher what the language is, but they can't read it. They know that the, the language is infernal. This doesn't really help us with anything. I'll just keep it anyway. Okay. <laughs> I put it 
I can't, my... I can't help you with this. I can't understand this. <laughs> I keep it in my pack for later. In your pack? Okay. You took it. <laughs> well. Go ahead, go on. I see you, big dog. So the crew, the crew says that the last crate is necessary. These are the three packages uh, specifically requested by Moriarty Fox to be sent on the boat or the airship. So we should really need to get that last box back. And then we can give you guys food and drink and let you guys rest up for the night. And then we can head out on the way tomorrow to get back to town, if that's okay with you guys. Oh, let's go get it then. All right then, let's get it. Okay. So you guys get to go back down with the rope. Are you guys gonna leave the leave the rope tied up there for easier access up into the airship, or yes. gonna take it with you, yeah. leave them up there to fend for themselves? <laughs> Hold on now. <laughs> this is my rope now. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. The vines are dead. I want a fireman slide down my rope. Elegantly. You get rope burned. <laughs> I will also no fire him and slide down. <laughs> Would you like any of the uh, crew members to come with you? Yeah, make one of them come with us to show us where it is. Okay, so uh, Benny, that's the guy's name, Benny comes out with you guys. Benny comes, Benny comes down, you know how, it, you know how Bennies are. Oh, Benny Let me just grab yeah. a random person. He, he's a nice little, he's, he has some uh, magic ability, you know how it is, Benny, down there. Nothing too special for him, but he's just there. What are you pointing at, Benny? He's, he's going to walk this way and just point straight ahead. Be like, he's going that way. You can see the outline of the crater. I know, so he, man, he's I just start walking. Here. Try and keep it close. I want to ask... Distance um... from the teammates. I want to ask Guy we broke and my homie over here if they're coming with us. I mean, shit. Guy and King? Yeah, hold up. Yeah, I'm going to follow them. I'm going up here. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Besides, like, are my spider senses tingling? Because I have this thing in the woods where I can sense danger. Uh, what's popping, bro? Yep. So, you feel something off. You feel the winds changing above you key whereas normally like it was a breeze coming from like the north down to the south you feel it suddenly shift coming from the west or from the east to the west is there anything i could pick about that like any weather or animal uh you th you feel it's an animal of some kind causing it because uh the weather doesn't seem to be an issue it's still kind of like partly cloudy uh sun coming through and everything like that a little bit it's kind of like darker in the forest area because of all the cover from those trees and the shade but you notice how like the shadows start shifting as well as like the leaves of the wind start. You can feel it coming from the east side and see it starting to hit your face a little bit. Do I have to roll that see if this is a rock? Because I'm going to roll if I see this is a rock, dog. All right, roll a nature check. A nature check. Let me check what that is again. Nature. That's... He's, about to, he's about to roll another perception check, man. I fucking hate this shit. <laughs> Do all of us have to roll it? Nope, just uh, uh just key. Yeah, I'm checking. I'm checking. I'm checking. I'm checking. We got like some spider senses going on right now. Zero, five plus three. That's eight. I see nothing. I know nothing. <laughs> you just feel some wind. Do you think it's like a little bit, a little windy day here? A little shift in the weather, maybe. But you you don't think anything of it. All right. Well, I'm completely ignorant. <laughs> so, as you guys walk a little bit further. A giant rock appears. Dude, a rock. Nice. That shit giant. Oh. Oh, oh. That's huge. That's a crow, man. And it, la it lands directly in the crater. That's a crow, man. That's just a murder. <laughs> Listen, they don't have a rock in Roll20, all right? <laughs> Are we playing the rock? Shit. Yo, never let him touch a break, bro. <laughs> yeah, remember the polar bears, man? So you, you can see it as it lands. You can see that its wings are a shade of like it is a, like a triple layer of wings. The top layer are a black layer. The, the middle layer is like a, a grayish layer. And then the bottom layer, which are the biggest part of the wings, are a bright red in color. And the bright red goes all the way back to his tail. Uh, you can see the red a, a single red talon 
underneath the body as it starts to lay in the crater as if it's taking a rest, almost as if this was his nest at one point. Can I roll another intelligence check to see if I know anything about this animal? Abs uh, roll a nature check again. That's the worst. 19. 19 plus 3. That's done. That's barely. Okay. All right. So you know from your knowledge of the rock and nature and the forest and everything like that, you know that the rock has really, really good eyesight. It can pick off the smallest movements from a mile in the air. Uh, that it's normally used for its talons grabbing people and then uh, restraining them and known for hoisting them up in the air and then dropping them if they can't successfully get a, a chew off with their beaks. Uh, they are also called Sky Titans as a nickname for them. Thought to be descended from the god, the fire god, Rodaro. Are there any weaknesses about them? Or is that just like, hey, I just got this stat? You, you kind of just know, like, that's what it is. You know that, like, they're really active in perception. They don't really have a known weakness. Oh, you do know that they have a pretty decent fly speed, and they can are pretty quick, but on the ground, they have a limited movement. All right, so, Party, are we trying to fight this thing, or are we trying to run and hide? Because... <laughs> that's Ernesto... Do. We don't even know what it does. <laughs> well, I can, I can tell you. I tell the Party, I'm like, this thing is a big, gigantic, uh, terrifying bird that can see really well, fly really fast, and will try and grab one of us and hoist us in the air and kill us. If it can't kill us, it'll drop one of us. Like and Ernesto speaks over. It's like he only has one talon. It's the same one. It's the same one. It's the same Ernesto. one. Ernesto. Ernesto. Ernesto, you trying to get revenge? Get your revenge. Ernesto. Okay, so we're gonna fight this joint. This thing. <laughs> when we, do, when I was in no man's land, there was fifty of us and ten. Uh, rocks came down and picked us a piece. So, a rock can take about five men. I'm gonna let you know we uniquely composed. I'm built different. I'm built. There's eight of us, <laughs> and you didn't fight with me before, boy. <laughs> I got it up the mud. Yo, there's there's water too. We could definitely do this. There's water nearby too. Eric, you could be a key player. We could do this. Cool. Who's, who's Eric? Who, who's Eric? I who's mean, Eric? Uh, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, bro, Peter Johnson. I can't stop laughing at that name. <laughs> All right. He says that Ernesto's like, we should try to flank it as much as possible. If we keep his eyesight like, a separate, he might not. Like, if we stay in the trees, if we have, if we keep some people in the trees, we might be able to keep them safe. However, people who can draw his attention should put a little bit of themselves out there and uh, at the edge of the tree line. Make him come closer, but then dodging in and out of the tree line if possible. Sounds like a job for me. I will take the other side. I will stay here on the southern side if you guys want to flank back around the cliffside to the north side across the river. I guess I can keep his attention, yeah. I I'll be, like the water. Water. I'll be in the back. He's gonna attack. Yeah, I'll be in the trees lining up a shot of its eyes. Mm. Okay. Yo, who giving the victory speech? I need Optimus Prime right now. I'm ready. Give it to me, level one. Watch <laughs> <laughs> just give it to me, level one. <laughs> no, I'm ready. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't no, no. I just do a regular one. I'll just do a regular one. All right, boys. All right. So, how do you guys want to split it up? I'll stay down here, and he, uh, Ernesto gets to the southern, uh, the southern tree line. Without like, he's trying to roll a stealth roll fast to make sure that the bird can't hear him or detect yeah, him at all. You want the speech first? Man, you don't want the speech first. Give us right, speech. He, he's kind. He's kind of tunnel vision. He's kind of you know how it is. Like. You want me to take points? I'm big boy. Just, shut up! I'm trying to talk right now. I know we just met y'all, but you know what? Everyone live. Come back together. We have a good meal. Some good laughs after this. All right. Damn, dude, am I supposed to say amen after that? <laughs> 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 I'm here. Hey, All right, let's do it. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, that works out. That works out. All right. Do you guys want to have some people go up to this northern tree line area? You're more than welcome to. We got to loop back around. Yeah. yeah I'm right, going to be. I, I got you, bro. I will loop around. I got him. I'm going to be up in a tree again, but I'm not going to climb it just yet because it'll see me. 
Me and uh, me and Thanos are on the front, aren't we? The ones that gotta walk up. Big ass shield for a reason. Man. Damn, Eric. Already gone. Ernesto wanna... says anyone who's ranged should probably stay farther back. Help them through the trees. Yeah, trees. signal. Okay. It's like... I unsheath my long, my long sword, and I take my shield out as well. Okay. I take the giant shield out from my back and put it on my uh, my right arm, and I grab my spear. I okay. Take out my longbow and arrows. All right. All right. Everyone, roll a stealth check. Oh hell no, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh okay, that's God. not that bad. I'll take it. What stuff the waffle? Uh, dexterity. Oh, oh, bless. Oh, bet. Oh no. I'm invisible. That's an unnatural twenty over twenty. Like I'm invisible. Hmm. Twenty-four. Okay. I like it. Okay, we 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 going strong, boys. We going strong. Oh, zero. <laughs> 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 Zero. The guy we did. The guy we did. Uh, like, guy we did. <laughs> my fucking character sheet, man. I fucking. I just. Guy we broke. More like guy we did. Man. I rolled shit, man. Rolled All right. Shit. So everyone, everyone gets in position, and then you guys hear a guy we broke behind him. He sneezes loudly. <laughs> There's some pollen, pollen in the air. Full, full on, like, like echoing sneeze, and then he steps on the largest tree branch you can see and snaps it in half at the same Jesus time as a sneeze. And the rock stirs and looks at you guys directly in the tree line. So everyone, roll initiative. There it is, right here. Do you have the first battle music, uh, DM? I do not, just because of Twitch's copyright uh, stuff. Oh, I can't knowingly. <laughs> no, never mind. That's not right. Oh, damn. Dang. So, uh, what are we gonna play? Copyright free, like classical music or some shit? Uh, if you can find it. <laughs> Rise of the Valkyries. Yeah, Rise of the Valkyries. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Alright. So, where does does the 14 start for the initiative rolls? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I go around to 14, you can start the initiative rolls, yes. Okay. <laughs> What's your next Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... The first one to put in the chat. It goes by uh, highest to lowest. Yeah, for... Tofu, buddy. Oh, no. Tofu is going on last. No, no, no. Eric ha thought he had a bad session, man. <laughs> This is not okay. Hey, man. I'm just gonna let y'all know. I got two positives. You Unfortunate. Michael had a 12. <laughs> nope. Alright, Garan had a 14. Q had a 15. Hey. No matter what character. Peter Johnson had a 17. All right. At, uh, between uh, Peter Johnson and whatever. The uh, Thaneth, yeah. yeah Thaneth. Uh, who has right. the higher. I'll call him Stridebreaker. That's fine, too. All right. Stridebreaker, who has the higher dex right now? Dex modifier. My dex. 13. My dex modifier is minus one. All right. So. So Adam will go in front of Peter Johnson, oh, or nice. Thanos will go in front of Peter Johnson, and then uh, Ernesto actually rolled a nineteen for his, so he'll go first. His name's Dungeon Hamster. That's funny. Yeah, Dungeon Hamster. It's <laughs> a hamster. He's like lording over. He's not DM. He's DH. Yeah, Dungeon DH. Hamster. <laughs> All right. So Ernesto decides to charge in there. And draw his attention to allow for you guys to do it first. So he's going to go right here. And he's going to uh, swing with his rapier. What a champ. 
he rolls a 22, allowing him to hit the rock with his rapier. And because he has the dueling uh, fighting ability, he also gets a plus two to his damage rolls. Nice. So he does nine damage to the giant beast. And then as his bonus action, he's going to uh, like prepare for the attack from the rock. So he's going to have a defensive stance ready to use a parry or a post if needed. My boy After that, we have Tanith with his attack. Am I 20 feet from this uh, rock? You're there, 5. If you go diagonal, you're 10. Okay, this, then this won't work. I'll have to walk up. I'll walk up with Ernesto. The giant and try to hit with my great axe. Okay, roll to hit. Twenty-three. Twenty-three does hit. Alright, bet. What the heck is my D twelve? There it is. Gonna be eighteen damage. 18 damage, all right. After that, I'm going to try and put that giant shield in front of my head, in front of me, just hold it up. All right. Actually, you know what? Never mind. As a bonus action, I'm going to use my taunt. Okay. See, you need, I think you need, yeah, you need to roll a DC save. Okay. What am I rolling for? You need to beat 15. Is it dex or wisdom or? I think it's constitution. A 21. Oh yeah, that's not working. Damn. Well, I just gotta put myself in defensive stance then. Okay. After that, we have Peter Johnson. All right, let me look at my ranges one more time. So while you're doing that, Tanith, so he's not taunted, or is he is taunted? He's not taunted. Okay. You would have had to be the DC of 15. Each square is 5 feet, right, RJ? Correct, 5 feet. Or DH, sorry. Okay. Oh, did you want to do something before I go? Nope, I was just asking. Okay. So, I use my shape water cantrip to... It's... No, I fucked up, RJ. But mm. go on, which roll. That's okay. No, no go backs. I use it to freeze this the square of water, mm -hmm. and then I'm a I'm a hurl the ice spear at this place, motherfucker. Okay, roll the hit with your ice. Hold on. Okay, so in the future for my taunts, <laughs> it has to be, it's charisma saving throw. Charisma saving throw. Okay. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, dog! Oh no! Wow! <laughs> oh my god! This is not, man, this is not tough. I love we it. just restart, man. We just <laughs> all right. So, all right. Uh, roll me a D one hundred, Eric. Oh no! <laughs> oh, it's all gambling time. <laughs> I want I was literally just for this. Okay. At least you ain't number one, bro. 51, okay. So, your ice block smashes Ernesto right in the side of the head. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Alright, so roll damage to... I've been, I've been team feeling this last campaign. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Another team kill. <laughs> I'm like, I, bro, I'm like looking at this fight, bro. What the... I didn't move him back just to get Ernesto's thing, so I'll move him back once I didn't uh, mess with his health. All right, so how much damage is uh, Ernesto taking? Uh, I'm, I, I was reading to see what damage roll I need to do. It's a D6, bro. Plus my charisma, six damage. Okay. He's he's still up. He's just like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry, I messed up my aim. Wham! My fault. Alright. That old song yeah, you RJ, pitch. In the future for taunt, it's charisma saving. Okay. It still would have been like an 18. Yeah, I still would have beat it, so I can't even use that. Alright, after. Uh, is that complete your turn there, Peter Johnson? All right. Uh, then we have Q. Is up next. All right. I would like to um, same thing. Move up with the boy. Okay. And I would like to swing at the rock. With okay. My long sword. Does a 15 hit? 15 does not hit. Tragic. Unfortunate. Um, then in that case, after I miss my swing, because I'm just warming up here, I prepare my shield for any further attacks from the rock. Okay. After Q, we have Garan. Hey. Taking a deep breath and use Frostbite. Okay. Which one am I rolling with? <laughs> is that a 20 or a 6? Uh, is a 1d6. So, you need to roll with a d20. Actually... Hold on. Uh, oh no. Uh, I roll a Constitution check, and if yeah. I fail the Constitution check, then I take the damage. Okay. Got okay. It. So then I use that compared to your spell save DC, just for reference. It's thirteen. Seven plus nine. Uh, uh, sixteen. So it does not take any damage from you. Well, I tried, guys. Well, After that. Vibes right now, <laughs> From the All right. Man. After that, we have uh, Key. Key's turn. All right. Uh, just to make sure, like, I'm still stealth, right? Doesn't know I'm here? Yep, it doesn't know you're there. It just sees those in front of him. Okay, can I climb the tree and uh, shoot two arrows at its eyes? How hard will that be? Uh, so now we can shoot one arrow at a time. Until you, you get a multi, eye, yeah. So you don't get a multi attack till later on in the game. All right. But, but you are more than welcome to try to climb the tree using your movement speed, which is I think thirty for you. So you can use it to climb upward, if you want into the tree, and then you can, because you're around a tree, uh, roll at disadvantage because you're trying to hit such a small target of his eye. So you need to roll the d twenty twice and take the lowest number. Oh, wait, that's, so, that's 15 or 9. So. Yeah, so nine's the lowest one. So add your attack modifier to it that's to six. see if it would hit. Yeah. That's plus 6. So yeah, I got like a... A 14. Yeah, pretty much. So okay. you are not able to hit the eye of the rock. However, you are able to hit him in the body. All right. So just roll your normal damage die for your arrow. Oh yeah, one d12, right? Uh, eleven. Eleven damage. Okay. Mm. Okay, I guess I'm cool in here then. I'll just that was almost max damage. Just shit. All right. After that, we have uh, the rock's turn. Oh boy. And, and the rock seems to be staring down Ernesto as the first one to attack him. <laughs> no. So the rock's gonna try grabbing him with his single talon. All right, thirteen plus thirteen, twenty-six to hit. So he manages to hit Ernesto with his uh his claw, and then Ernesto needs to make a strength check to see if he is able to escape from. 
Uh, he rolled a two. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, Ernesto is now grappled by the Talon. Well, because he's going to get grabbed anyways. Don't feel so bad about hitting him in the back of the head now. And then because he gets hit by the uh, the Talon, he takes 46 damage. That's Hell, five. Take 24 damage. Three. Going, bro. Eight plus nine. He takes seven. He takes seventeen damage from that one. Ouch. He's not unconscious yet. Oh, you're right. We're level one. Ernesto's not. Yeah, Ernesto's not. Ernesto's oh, a seasoned warrior. So, what the Rock does? He uses his 120 feet of flying speed to fly Ernesto up in the air, 120 feet up. So they're untargetable right now, unless you have a range of over 120 feet. Yeah, I can't hit that. Fly? It's a bird. No, no, you, you never played that game Pokemon? It's, it's like using fly. Yeah, it's using fly. It, he's using fly. He's using fly. All right, so it Tofu, be it's your turn. Can it be 120? As long as you have a range of 120, you could hit it on your next turn. Okay, so uh Alright, we have uh some guy turn there right now. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna yell it to my boy Benny over there. Yo Benny, you got something I can throw at this shit? Uh Benny is looking at it saying, That's not what brought down our ship. Man. Mm. What? Okay, Son Benny. of a gun. I well He's he says I d I don't I don't have anything to help mm. you. And he you seem he seems to be terrified. He, he then says, "It's getting warm. Uh, oh. okay. It's getting it's getting warm again. The sun we're too close to the sun again. You see him uh, the panic on his face. Is this, is this PTSD? Hey, just just run away, Benny. Just just run for it, man. Benny Benny runs away. I... As we get to the top of the order again, you guys hear a large, even louder roar." coming from the mountains to your east. And behind one of the mountain peaks, you see a flying creature with what appears to be fire and embers coming from his wings as he flies. It starts to get... It starts to get... Alright, so, uh... Key, since you are the tree person and really good at that, roll a... Uh, a nature check for me. Hmm? Key. Key. 14 plus what's the bonus again for nature? That's intelligence. It's right? it's wisdom. Oh, wisdom. Oh, oh yeah. Nature? I thought it was intelligence. Oh, isn't nature? Oh, let me double check. Yeah, so like it's. Oh, uh, nature's intelligence, yeah. 17, uh, yep. Yeah, I got it. We're good. So your, your good nature knows that the mountains are about a two day travel by foot to get there from where you guys currently are. But this creature seems to be flying really really fast it manages to close the gap on the rock really quickly the rock being scared of this creature fly tries flying away soaring up to 500 feet before what you guys recognize from the tales and folklore of the old world to be radaro the ancient fire god oh shoot wingspan of 500 feet covers the sun single-handedly as he swoops down and grabs the rock out of the air cleanly. Eating the rock as a whole, leaving only the talon exposed. And as Rodaro bites down on the rock, you see the talon fall off the body, still grappling Ernesto. As Ernesto then proceeds to drop 500 feet, taking 20 d6 fall damage. Oh, hey, he's fine, man. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Walk it off. Walk it off, Ernesto. Just shake it off. He's the guy we just broke only a leg. No, I need. I need twenty d sixes. Mm. Yeah, Ernesto's paced right now. No, All right. No, no, no. He could. He could get twenty. Sixty-nine, man. One. One. Dude, sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. He takes sixty-nine damage, and being that he was only at three damage, 
or three health points left. Mm. He takes he 66 good. damage upon impact on the ground, thus being three times his hit point pool, dies instantly. Oh my god. Splatter his guts going all splattered all everywhere. Weird. Everywhere. Weird. Splattered. Red him on something, dog. You got his blood splatter on you. Move that. Nah, man. This is my third. This is it's kind of like when you like step on an insect, it makes that crunch noise. It sounds like a small crunch from all the bones shattering upon impact. Ew. He actually lands. He actually lands in the crater next to where the chest was from the Moriarty Foundation. But now the chest is just covered in in blood and like small pieces of like fragmented bone. Did he? Did he have any like venereal disease? Can we still loot? Like. <laughs> <laughs> As as you guys are shocked by the sudden demise of Ernesto, the the once of great sergeant in the the Uteran army, just sitting there before you with nothing, you see Rodaro fly off into the distance with the the fire trails coming behind him. But it doesn't seem to burn any of the trees around you. It just seems to like be small like sparks as they reach farther down into the ground before dissipating into nothingness. And you can see Rodaro appear behind, disappear behind the mountainsides again, meaning that that creature was traveling at well over a thousand miles an hour. Did it? Did the heroes of the world kill that dude? Where am I tripping? Uh, roll a history check for me. You said roll a what? History. History. Damn, I'm stupid as fuck. <laughs> Yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. You're good at you. Here, I got you. No, no, no. I got you, man. I got you. No, wait. Stop, guys. Technically, it's a natural one. However, I'm stupid as fuck, so it's minus one since it's low. <laughs> so you just think that hey. you honestly think that a ghost of Rodaro just killed our giant rock? Bro, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> What was that, bro? Does anyone want to correct him? <laughs> yeah, this thing is smart as going to be, bro. I can't when I roll a two. Oh. You <laughs> also think a ghost. Alright. So, Garan just says, oh, If you guys knew your history, you would know that when the world was reset 2,000 years ago, that Acel Duran Magina stated that as time progresses, eventually the gods would return back to their full strength, which is why the year acceleration took so many thousands of years for all the gods to gain back their powers. So that was the real Rodaro that just came down and swooped up a rock and ate him in one bite. Oh, man, we got a fucking nerd, man. Go on, bro. <laughs> you I'm big brain. At home. You stupid sack. Crazy. Crazy. I would like to walk up and loot Ernesto. And <laughs> damn, you gonna, yeah. I just say, damn, you gonna do him like that? I like, okay. I like push, I push like the, the, the gore and shit off of the bot, like <laughs> what I need to like look through. Mm -hmm. So you want to loot Ernesto or the crate first? Taking my hands off with like this, the blood and shit. You said roll what? Do you want to roll for the, or do you want to loot Ernesto first, or do you want to loot the? uh the, the crate. Let me loot Ernesto. So on Ernesto was this this rapier uh, weapon with a family engraving on the hilt where he holds it along like the handguard. You can see the pattern that appears to be a small town, which you guys aren't familiar with. And the town underneath it says written underneath it is Florence, but you don't know what Florence is because it's not any map you guys have ever seen before. I would like to take it. Okay. Take the rapier. He also has on him ten gold pieces. I'm taking that too. And he has on a small little badge that shows his rank in the uh army. Yeah, Slash. That as well. Okay. And now I... can I open up the uh the chest? Absolutely, you can roll open the chest. What do I need to roll, King? You just open it. Yes, sir. So in it, you find a folder uh, that has every single manifest for the entire month for all the Moriarty Foundation shippings across the world. 
or yeah, like across the Uterian continent. Mm. It's a, it's no. like it's like fifty pages thick, so it's gonna take some time to read through it if you want to read through it. Uh, can I grab it and give it to a Gorin? Yes, you can. All right. What else is in the chest? You find fifteen gold pieces in the chest. I'm taking that as well. Okay. You find a small bracelet. It just seems to just be made of some basic like metal, nothing too fancy, just a small bracelet. Okay. There's also it appears to be a plastic mold of some kind used to create masks when wax is poured into them and hardened. And you also find. So I don't know what it is. All right, you just think it's like a plastic mask you'd wear. <laughs> All right, and you also find a magical item, the coin of delving. Coin of delving? Yep. Okay. And what does that do? The coin of delving is a normal piece of copper. Uh, it it has a small dim light around it, so it's like a, a like a lightable coin that has a five foot radius. Uh, and if it is dropped more than five feet. The coin issues a melodious singing when it hits any surface. So any creature that can hear the chime can determine how, like what the distance is from when it hits the ground. I would like to hold on to that. Okay. Alrighty. And that is it inside the thing. I give the book to Gorin and say you should look over this and see if there's anything important in it. I climb out of the trees first to meet up. With... What's your name, bro? Q. Wow. Q? Yeah, yeah. With Q. What'd you find? I found a bunch of money, uh, a shipping manifest, it looks like really deep, uh, some mask is in there, I don't know what that is, and then I found this like coin, it's kind of glowing, I'm gonna hold on to it. But you should look through this manifest. Alright. Uh, I'll see what it, what I can do with this. All right. We should also probably let the people in the airship know that we recovered their, uh, their thing. Yeah, let's tell them that the rock took it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they don't need right. to know we took anything. Yeah. Mm. All right. All right. Can I interrogate Go Benny over here? <laughs> yeah, you can interrogate Benny. I, my boy Benny. Why didn't you tell me Rodeo was here, man? <laughs> Rodeo. Rodeo. <laughs> Rodeo, bro. Says, That's the most disrespectful. Man, my hope. It's like you dare disrespect the god of the skies oh, and fire. Oh, is that what Benny's saying? Is that what Benny's saying? He yeah, he knows. Like a Pokemon. Benny want to get his ass beat? <laughs> Do you know? Do you know why the Moriarty service pays top dollar for a basic, like, almost slave-like labor force? They pay us good money because Rodaro claims the skies for himself. If he sees an airship, he's going to take down that airship. He feels that we are encroaching on his domain in the sky. Mm. He's not the only one, though. Sometimes you'll see ships going down from lightning strikes from Gidro, the lightning god as both of them claim the sky for themselves. It's a dangerous employment to be here, but it pays well for the families. And because they're so intelligent as gods, they know when you're talking about them. And you should really refrain from it. Mm. Hey, you got a family, Benny? I have. A, a, I'm a single father raising a daughter. Mm. Yeah. Okay. This nigga got walked out on. That's crazy. <laughs> she died. She died during childbirth. That's what they all say. It's Padme. The cat. What is Padme? Yo, go tell your boys. Go tell your boys, Benny. We got the shit. That okay. rock ate that shit. Okay. So he climbs back up into the the thing. Says that they've got. All the packages and everything like that. But you notice that the sun is starting to set. So you guys are more than welcome to rest uh, here for the night if you like to. In the airship. I should do that. But on the other half, because I'm not sleeping with those musty boys. 
<laughs> the Lost Boys. Uh, are we in a long rest now? Are we long can, rest? can I look through this manifest? Yep, you can look through the manifest if you so choose to. Okay. Since as, you don't have to sleep at all. As I'm looking through it, what do I find? You see some distinct codes used for shipping around the, the content of Uterran. So you see that they had sent some uh like animal packaging and additional crew members to Wowold. So let me go to the map for you guys so you can see it. So there's a couple of different things going around. You see uh building upgrades and magical relics being sent to the seven demi pillars down here. You see some animal uh like handlers trainers stuff like that being sent to wowalds you see like uh some additional animal research parts being sent to kaigi the small town over here and you see some additional uh like money resources being sent to the town of malaya or the city of malaya down in the swampy malaya marshes those are the ones that really stand out to you the rest of them just look like normal stuff like uh, paper shipments and stuff like that, and those go around the whole continent. Okay. So, guys, I'm seeing, uh, what is it, Moriarty? Yep, the Moriarty Foundation. They're moving a lot of gold to the uh, Malaya marshes. We're all here for money, right? Yeah, I'm about to wrap. I guess so, yeah. yeah. I say after we get some rest, we head down over there. Okay. Run some shit. We're going on a heist. Look out. All right, so right now you guys are about right here in the northern twin forest. Doop, 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 doop. So you guys are welcome to stay the night and everything like that. Uh, roll a perception for me, uh, Goran. Since you don't have to sleep. Uh, uh, where's my person? Oh, 17. 17. All right. Outside of the ship, you hear like scuttling and like some low chatter on the ground below you guys. It, it's, hey, uh, what is that? Would you like Young to take a peek dude. outside? Yeah, we're, I we're look asleep, out. so you would have to wake Oh, I'm the only one who's awake? Okay. Yeah, everyone slept. Yeah, man. Right? So I take a peek. Uh, outside, you can see some small kobolds walking around. What strongest is a kobold? Race. The strongest kobold. Race, man. The strongest race in D&D &D, with a whopping oh, 4 kobolds. HP per. Oh, let's go. Oh, hold up. Since I also have that uh, nature explorer thing, does that mean I'm also alert to them being a danger? Uh, like... Are you actively sleeping? I think I am. Never mind. I was going to wake up on some Spider-Man shit. Just no. <laughs> 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 so I, I see the kobolds uh, and I wake up my crew. Okay. Hey. Oh, bro. We got some kobolds running running around down down said, on the ground, bro. Okay. You said kobolds? Yeah, kobolds. Bro, just How let the local you youth play around, bro. You see about seven of them. Seven? Three. Actually, you see you see nine of them. Nine. Are they yeah. just or are they a... around? I'm not sure, but they oh. might be looking for some treasure. They might be. You think we should? Should we follow them and jump them? I don't think that's a great idea. It probably isn't. Like, but I don't know what else to be. Yeah, if they don't bother us, I mean, let's just let's just keep one eye open, like just in case they try to come up here. All right. All right. Uh, you see them just scurrying around on the uh the ground, like they they're not climbing anything. They know their strengths aren't climbing. Uh, they kind of look around the ground. They see uh, some. They look through the crates and stuff that have been on the ground. They grab some some basic foods and drinks and stuff like that that are in the crates. 
before uh, scuttling back up the north past the crater area. And then you guys, it's the next morning now. Good morning. What's up? Uh, I crew immediately member... wake up and go straight to Peter Johnson. <laughs> do I, wait, uh, real quick, do I gain my hit points back or no? Nah, yeah. I wasn't sleeping. Yes. No, you gotta roll for it, don't you? Long rest. No, with a full rest, or a long rest, you get the full HP back. Oh, yes. Do I have to roll for it? No. no, on, no. A, on a long oh. rest, you oh, okay. just get it all back. On a short rest, you roll to get how much you get back. Okay. Okay. I, that's, that's even more of a bet because I was crippled. I had like one leg. Like, oh. I look to Peter Johnson and I say, Dude, do my eyes deceive me or did you hit Ernesto? <laughs> <laughs> you dazed and confused him. Peter, Peter, answer me. Peter, Peter's in a Peter. deep sleep right now. Peter's in REM. Oh, sorry, I was talking. I was literally responding, and my mic was muted. So, uh, I just got my powers like two weeks ago, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't have perfect control yet. It was, it was a mistake. It won't happen again. It won't happen again. No oh, dude, that's fucking sick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Get that shit under control, bro. My bad, my bad. He's trying his best, man. I don't shoot. I said what I wanted to say. Alright. So, you guys like to climb downstairs. You guys got Benny and the other uh, people coming with you. I'm just going to have Benny be represented, or the entire crew be represented by Benny. Because it's just easier that way than having okay. 12 different things. So, they're going to carry back the crates for you guys. And bring back like the import the important stuff you guys needed to rescue on your quest for to today the, i look to the survivors like put your fucking back into it bro <laughs> so the way back to the city is actually up north where the kobolds went and it's about a two-day adventure to get back mm. right let's get to it all, all right, right. Let's go. all right so everyone's gonna go up here and who's going to be leading? Me. Oh, not I. I want to lead. Hey, you want I to lead? lead. Alright. I Q. nominate Benny, bro. Nominate Benny. You like, want all the crew members to go boy. first. Me and my boy Benny, man. <laughs> That's so pretty. Worthless <laughs> up front. <laughs> Benny is a father. What is he? Benny's just a normal human. Oh no, I just met fodder, like you should go for oh. anything. Yeah man, that's why we got Benny, man. He's a father. Alright, so... Father. <laughs> since uh, Q wanted to lead, Q rolling me a d20. D20? Mm -hmm. Any, um... Any modifiers or anything? Just straight d20? Nope, we're just doing a normal, like, encounter in the in the jungle, see what happens. <laughs> a six. <laughs> a six, alright. As you guys are traveling through uh, the woods, the forest area, uh, in the distance you begin to hear uh, a thunderstorm in the distance. Uh, some low rumblings, likely to be the co like, like in the mountains, like coming down the mountains, like a rainstorm's coming for you guys soon. And uh, you hear the roar of the storm god, Gidro, in the distance. All right. And that's day one of traveling for you guys. Good, good roll on there. Nothing, nothing too fancy happened. Thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, and then during the night, you guys can rest up again. No issue there. Uh, roll me another d twenty. Uh, whoever wants to stay awake for the the night rest or take first watch. I'll take first watch, guys. Don't worry, rest up. All right, I'll go for four, man. What right. is what modifier is this, or just a d twenty? It's just a d twenty. Okay. Is it in the Discord? Yeah. All right. I just I'm not getting the note, no, like the pings in Discord for some reason. Oh, it's probably because I have streamer mode enabled. That should probably disable uh, that. I'll just type. Thirteen. Okay. Thirteen. So, uh, you guys start to feel the the pitter patter of the rain start to come in during the middle of the night. 
and you have this pressure feeling on you as if something is watching you but you can't discern from where you just feel like there's a, a multiple eyes staring at you but nothing comes of it other than it felt like you're being watched for the night all right who wants to lead for the second day i'll do it again nah man my turn bro i got you all right it is time for guy's turn to roll to lead One, 100 right 20 oh it's just a 20 yeah, yeah. D20 determines event. D100 is if it's an encounter. You determine what encounter it is. Nine. All right. <laughs> Chill. As you guys are scrolling through, you actually see this monument start to form in the tops of the trees as you guys are traveling. You guys can see the, the nice little tree line there. Nothing too fancy, but it's there. And you have uh, your friend friend first uh, he's big now hey. okay. damn Benny. bro he hit that gem my boy took my advice <laughs> but here you can guys see this tower in the middle of a clearing field uh and a perfectly circular clearing and you notice that the shadow from the tower lines perfectly with the tree line extending all the way so just pretend that the tree line like the the shade goes like all the way to like the thing okay. forming a clear pathway as you guys look up at the tower, you guys notice that the sun is directly behind the tower, making it almost impossible to see clearly the tower. Hmm. Hmm. Almost like a clock. Yeah, like a sundial or something. But for who? Keep uh, going. I walk up. <laughs> Me too. I walk around. I'm going... Okay. Everyone stop where you are. Where's Peter? Is he chilling? I'm asleep. He's just in deep REM sleep right now. Constantly. That first watch must have fucked him up. He needs some more rest. Tired, bro. <laughs> we ain't got no watch no more. We're taking him out. He's out of rotation. He's too young. He's too young. <laughs> <laughs> so who's the first person who's the first person to walk out closest to the tower what's the order go ahead guy we bro, I mean, bro i'll take this shit man i'll take this shit bro you want me to move forward man i got you get in there bro God. bro i got you all right as as guy reaches right there you guys hear we have five arrows raining from the top of the tower Targeting guy. Whoa! <laughs> the the feet, guy. The <laughs> okay, hold on. Can 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 I? What's your armor class, guy? Oh, you sent it to me, right? Sixteen. Sixteen. All right. So dance. one hit. Dance for real. Two hit. Three hit. <laughs> Four hit. <laughs> Five hit. Okay. So five arrows just plunge right into you. <laughs> How many did you eat? How many did you eat? That's the real question. Bro, I ate all of them. Let's go. And since they were sneak attacks, they oh, also get the bonus really? die to it. Man, I'm just dead. No, you can still eat them. You can still eat them. Uh, ain't no way, dog. We just came out here. It's our third day. Uh, you take 18 damage from the arrows. <laughs> no way! <laughs> he just died. Bro, I ain't dead, man. No, no, no. I'm just a little. I'm just a little unconscious, man. I'm taking a little nap. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, All right. Cool nap, man. So now everyone rolls for initiative. Wait, how much did the last arrow do? Uh, the last arrow did two damage. Okay. Man is hemorrhaging. Oh my, yes sir. Oh, Jeez. actually, it's oh. three because I have plus one. We Jeez. use Bex mod, right? Yeah. Wait, we use Bex mod? Yeah. For, for, uh, initial. Oh, mine's mine's straight twenty. <laughs> like hold on, or nineteen. Hold on, let me check. Mine is yeah, mine's twenty. 
I need to go pee. Go pee. You're at the bottom of the air. <laughs> you got. You got a three. <laughs> you got time. All right. So Tope, we're uh, guys unconscious. God, man. Uh, still roll for me, so I know where to put you for your saving throws. Roll for unconscious initiative. Man, what you? We ain't even gonna get a fucking positive number, man. We gonna go negative stuff. Roll it, boy. What's the order? Uh, I'm still forming it. Can I need oh, Tofu God. to roll for me just so I can put him for his saving throws? Man. Yeah, that's fucking X mod. I got a pin. This man really got knocked the fuck out, bro. <laughs> Dog. Just walking into the woods. This is not okay. Dude, look at that high ass number, bro. <laughs> People are getting bodied. Hey, one by one. I'm gonna bleed out quick, bitch. I had an 11. There. You, you had a 2. So he is. All right. What's your dex uh, Q? I hide or just go to the next plane. So what? What's your dex? Zero. Zero. Okay, so you guys should go last. You rolled a two and a yeah. three. <laughs> I rolled a three. Well, hey. I rolled a two, but it's plus one, so it makes mm, you I have a three. I rolled a natural twenty. Well, you're unconscious, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I so know. first up will be uh, Michael with his uh, amazing character Key. All right, so. Seeing as there's an ambush over there, I'm going to see if I could spot anybody from where I'm at. All right. Since you're in the forest, uh, roll perception at advantage. So roll twice, take the highest number. Roll twice, take the highest number. Okay. That's 13. All right. So you successfully managed to no, 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 make no. out. It's 13 like, plus whatever your, your yeah. dex is. No, like you have to do a, do a 1d20. And then, oh, I guess never mind. Oh, no. Yeah, you do 2d20 to take mind. the higher of the two. Yeah, like. Yeah, I'm doing a 3 and a 13 garbage. So What's 13. On top of the 13. Uh, for dex? Or for, what are we modifying with? Perception. Perception. So it's, uh. I think it's wisdom. Or wisdom. Perception rule. That's a wisdom plus 2. So that's 15. That's exactly what my wisdom is. That's exactly what my wisdom is. All right, so you're able to make out from behind these pieces of covering, like holes in the rocks. You successfully say you should see a couple of kobolds uh, in their tower. We should have uh, fucking killed him. Who was a waker in those rats, man? Who didn't kill those fuck air rats? Who the He's hell told me to leave him alone? Yeah, who I told me to leave him alone? I don't know yeah. who did. I don't know uh, who you, you see that they are in about three fourths cover, so any range attacks on them will be done at disadvantage uh, okay. because they're well hidden and they're in the sun uh, for most okay. of the party's eyesight. What do I know about kobolds? Can they. Are they intelligent enough to understand human English or like orcish or anything? Like uh they they speak common, but they're a little dumb. Uh you know that they have sunlight sensitivity, so that they have if they're exposed to sunlight or are looking in the sunlight, they have disadvantage on their uh like they have they just can't see very well. And they you also know that they like to do stuff in packs, so they tend to be more than more than one at any given point. They I don't know how many there are, do I? Uh, you can make out about five of them. Five of them. There's definitely more in there. I there was... Oh, wait, I can't tell. I mean, there was, like, we saw, like, nine on the trail, and they were coming up this way. So there probably nine plus in there. Uh, and they were looking for food, and they're stupid. I don't want to offer any food. Like, that's rations. I don't know like, how far we are from town. Uh... I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna get a better flank. I'm gonna go to the. I'm gonna go to the side where the sun is. Okay. Flank. Keep in mind your movement speed each square is five feet. Five. So. Oh, yeah, it is five feet. So I was like right here, but it doubles when I'm alone, right? It double. I think so. Whatever right. your uh ranger thing like is right for here. the woods, or forest, or whatever. I'm like right here. Yeah, actually, I'm right here. Okay. Okay. After that. Is that complete your turn, or is that all you're going to do? Uh, can I just roll a stealth roll to make sure they don't see me? Yep, right. roll stealth. What a play. I'm trying to make sure. 16. Bro. I gotta keep checking this character sheet to see what stuff I actually have to modify for. It's <laughs> nice as a farmer that my son is better than me in this game. 
Dex, that's plus six. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. All right. So the kobolds not see you over there because you're also like in the light at the edge of the tree line. My word. I'm, I think I'm good. Oh wait, but I have another. Can I do one more thing, or am I good? What would you like to do? Uh, can I signal the rest of them to come towards the sun? Just so. You okay. can, but that risks breaking your stealth if you want to yell it out. Mm, but I have matches. If you want to light a match as a bonus action, you can. You gonna light the forest on fire? Uh, just to start a small one so you guys know where to go. Like, uh, if you pick it up, you pick it up. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not an actual fire. No, I'm gonna no, wave he, a he doesn't know, man. He doesn't know. No, no. He doesn't not an actual know. fire. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wave a match around. Like, if they he don't know. I might be able to. Wouldn't that still break your stealth, though? I mean, it might, but they, they're already blinded by the sunlight, and I'm in the sun, so hopefully they'll see less. You know what I mean? You can't just go gang signs. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm gonna try to keep the team safe. I don't know. <laughs> no, you're good. You can light your match. Light your match. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll light the match. What do I roll for that? Or is this, is this match? You just light the match. I'm like, oh, lit. Okay, I'll light my match. I'll wait for you guys to see it. That's my turn. Let's see if it works. All right. You can light I look the match. over to my left and I see uh, something shining. Hey, guys, we should probably go over there. Why? What about die? We should probably go where there's no shade. I think we're just gonna leave guy here. Yo, a man just gets gunned down <laughs> and the teacher spin. I'll get guy. Don't worry. I'll get guy. You guys, you guys, do whatever. All right. So after Michael lights his match, or after he lights his match, it is Peter Johnson's turn. All right. I'll pull a pin out my pocket, and I click it. And it expands into a longsword. And I pull up my shield off my back. And I'm gonna... How much movement do I have? I don't even know. Let's look. 30. How far away from you are... Uh, away from me are you, guy? I can, I can get... I can get 20 here. feet. 20. I can get here. Alright. Oh, wait. Actually, before I go. Yo, anybody uh, got some... Got a, their water skin on them or anything? I, never, I didn't refill mine the other night. I forgot skin yeah i do not i believe none of you guys have water and yeah, this man for his main ability essential survivor i got you, I got you. here here i give you my Stop. my water skin bro all right i take the water skin with me i'll pull up on guy and i'm gonna use healing hands all right give him a little bit of hp back uh it's a uh, four all right four hp back yeah and then I'll actually wait. This is twenty, right? So I'll go right here, and I'll I'll put up my shield, barricading it in front of both of us, blocking us with my shield. And uh, yeah. And how big's your shield? <laughs> Bigger oh. than me, nigga. That's just a tower, sh bro. I I need a size. Because <laughs> you know this man's pretty beefy looking. I'm I'm fucking. <laughs> me. My nah, shield? I'm gonna be sticking out. Nah, nah, our, boy, our, boy, our boy Johnson's shield over here. I was gonna say, because I have a big-ass shield. <laughs> I'm a whole 5'11", 185, and it's bigger than me. <laughs> I'm eight feet tall, and a, with probably a, as big as shield. That's a Goliath? I thought, yeah. I thought whatever, whole, uh, whatever uh, I don't even know, you're, I'm not even gonna lie. Stripebreaker was a Goliath. Yeah, Stripebreaker's a Goliath. We got two Goliaths? Y'all dumbass niggas. All right, I'll what? <laughs> I'll protect. I'll protect guy's face with the shield. <laughs> they can't get headshot. Okay. Hey, <laughs> hey that's what I want to be. <laughs> Are you five eleven, man? Shit. Let's see. Everyone's just on the floor. I'm, I'm a D one athlete. Back to you on athlete. <laughs> Take <the lead. laughs> He said 45 foot vertical. <laughs> 43 inch wingspan. <laughs> okay, my turn's over. All right, after that is a uh, guy's turn. <laughs> Save and throw baby. He's up. What do you mean? He's got 4 HP back. Yeah, you stabilized, man. I'm just unconscious. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, I am unconscious, right? 
No, you have four HP now, don't you? Bro, so you tell Hey yo, is this an entrance man? As you look, you do see a a makeshift door in the way. What was that door? It's like a piece of plywood blocking the entrance. Hmm. All right, we got time. We got time. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go to that door, right? All right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use that second wind, baby. You know the the. <laughs> Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So that's a D10 plus one. Yes, it gives second. All right. That puts me at one off max HP. All right. And it's just plywood, right, man? Yeah, it's just a piece of plywood blocking it. Yeah, man. You, know, you right, could just man. pick it up without even a strength check. I was just going to break that shit. Oh. It's, it's not even like locked in place. You're just leaning against it. Yeah. I'm just going to walk on in there. Then, now. All right. As you go in there, you can see this like tower. Uh, it's pretty much hollow all the way up to the top, so it's really questionable how the cobalt got up there because there's no easy stairwell or anything like that to go up there. There's no rats. But on you, this you do you see a you do see a small hatch at the the floor of uh like the ceiling or like the attic area where they're standing. You see a small little hole up there, but it's about fifty feet up with no like ladder or anything like that. Man. How are the walls looking right now? Uh, kind of rocky. Uh, a little bit moist from condensation. You know, moist. Okay, we got dirt on the ground, right? The t the bottom of the tower is a concrete, something, stone, some dirt, gravel. Yeah, it's it's the grass at the bottom. It's like dead grass, so dirt kind of style. Almost right. like the tower was built after without like actually checking the ground or updating it. Okay. All right. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to shove my hands in the dirt real quick, right? I'm going to mm -hmm. start climbing this shit. Okay. All right. Roll Ath in athletics. Athletics, baby. Twenty-two. You successfully managed to climb twenty-five feet of the fifty feet, so you're halfway there. But I think that I think that uses up your movement for the turn. Yeah, no, I didn't expect to get twenty-five because what I moved. Yeah, but just because you rolled so well. Man, because all I am is a beefcake, man. <laughs> all right, we're done then. After that, we have uh. Dalinth or whatever it is. Yeah. If it's that hard to pronounce, just call Thanet. it Stridebreaker. Stri I always forget Stridebreaker, but Stridebreaker's turn. Stridebreaker abuser, baby. Anyway. I'm going to up into a league item. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> the best item. But anyway, I don't really have that much movement or any range or anything, so I'd probably just have to get close within the tower. Actually, wait, how big is the entrance to that tower because i'm eight feet tall so oh yeah actually how big was that like how tall is the tower as a whole no, the no i mean the entrance to the tower uh it's like 10 feet all right we go oh. then we, we squeeze right, then. <laughs> i'm gonna put take out my shield put it in front of me and move forward a little bit as i try to like walk in there move towards the entrance slowly because i have slow movement speed 15, 20, 25. So I'm pretty much going to be right next to Peter. Just holding my shield out in front of me. Alright. I can't really do much. Yeah, hey, what's good, Spybreaker? What's up? Does that end your turn? Yeah, I can't do much. Alright. After that, we have uh, Goron's turn. Right. So I'm seeing the flares, right, set mm -hmm. off on the west. So I move closer.
around here. Mm -hmm. Can I see anything from the holes of the tower? Uh, roll a perception to see if you can see it. Wow, nice. I got a 20. A nice. natural 20? Yeah. Yes, so you can you can see some movements oh. from in the top of the tower, almost as if like they're trying to reload their bows and everything like that. And after hearing someone move the plywood, you can see that they're like they're moving, but you can't always really see what they're doing because of like the the guards on like the windows and stuff like that. But you can see them like becoming a little frantic that someone entered the tower. Hey Peter, Stridebreaker, they're about to shoot some more arrows. Um. I cast Firebolt at one of the windows for <laughs> just for like <laughs> just scaring them. Yeah. Go off, Bell Crannel. All right, roll to hit the window then. Oh, it's a 10? 5. Oh, wait. A 6 first, right? To see if it hits. Roll a d20 first to see if it hits, and then roll your damage afterwards if it hits. Okay, alright, so 15. 15 hit, you managed to hit the window. And it does 4. All right. So you managed to blow out one of the. Damage. So you managed to uh, catch the wood on fire, that was blocking it, and it kind of like burns away one of the guard things, exposing uh, the like window on this side of it right here. Okay. That ends my turn. Okay. After that, we have the kobold's turn. The kobolds are going to uh, look down and see our dear friends here with their shields up. So that increases your AC, right? Yeah. Okay. So they're going to take aim at Thanalith and Peter Johnson. See if they have a barrage of arrows down on them. Okay, so the first one on... Stridebreaker hits. Okay, it's a 23. Second one's a 22. Third one is a total 20, so the three arrows hit you. Uh, one hits on Peter Johnson. And the second one is a 19 hit you with the shield up, Peter. <laughs> hey man, I don't know. Sometimes you get the plus two to AC or whatever. Okay, so three of them hit Stridebreaker, two of them hit uh Peter Johnson. Peter Johnson. Okay. Okay, so the ones on Stridebreaker are uh thirteen damage from three arrows. Holy shit. I'm going to roll Stone's Endurance on that one to reduce okay. the damage done to me. Okay. D12 plus con modifier. That actually does not do any damage to me because of that now. Alright. So then the two that hit on to Peter Johnson is. Low roll. Two is four. Eight damage. Oh, I'm alive. I'm alive. And then we have our friend Q's turn. I'm not here to save my boy. <laughs> I'm in the tower and I'm almost dead. <laughs> I would like to to ask Benny uh, mm -hmm. if he has any indication of what the fuck's going on right now. It's just, I think you guys got jumped. <laughs> Good so. shit. It looks like he, they pulled up. They pulled up ready early. Like he pulled up in the crib, but she was unarmed, and they got that shit ready for you. Like they got the, 
they got the the attack dogs ready. They got the they got the you know you know what they got packing in there. They probably got something secret up there. Okay. Okay. Uh. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna rotate, I'm gonna rotate back with the boys. So I'm gonna move this way. Mm -hmm. Then I made my turn. Okay. So uh, Benny and them, the twelve crew members, are all gonna follow you guys over here too. They're gonna end up over here with their thirty movement speed, and we're gonna go back up to the top for. Uh, E's turn. All right, I'm gonna. I'm facing the. I'm at the sun, right? They can't really see me too well. Yeah. I'm gonna try and uh, beeline for the tower, then and try and enter it. Okay. You're gonna use a sprint action. Yep. All right. So you use up. You can double your movement speed up to sixty feet. Through the opening. Does that double on top of his already double because he's isolated? Yeah, try to get the double. Yeah, so now you get... Actually, I think get 90 feet of movement speed. It doesn't double the double. It just adds the extra 30. But okay. What? So you get 90 feet of movement speed. Well, then I'm there anyway. Okay. Okay, so... I don't even know what to do now that I'm here because like, people are getting shot. Like, uh, 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 Do I notice any like support beams or anything? Like any structural weaknesses? Nope, it's just straight up like stone going up. So I guess uh do I notice any way to climb up? The stones. The stones. Okay. It's just you gotta it's like basically rock climbing. You gotta put your foot in there, hope that it supports you. Okay, do I hear any kobolds? You hear some some pattering up on the like above you is like a ceiling, it's like a wooden ceiling at the top of the tower. You hear like pitter and pattering of them up there, like hitting on it, like walking around up there. You can hear something mechanical up there, but you don't know what it is. Okay. Okay. If I could, if I could see the homies out there, what do I have that could help? Cause I'm not going out there alone. I'll get, I'll get destroyed. I'll get, what can I have that could help? Uh, can I put my backpack over my head and run out to meet the homies and help? <laughs> like, bro, <Bruh. laughs> fucking crafty, bro, and I fuck with it, bro. Yeah, like, can I run out to meet them? Because I still have some movement, I guess. I if you would like to, yes. Movement is there. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna meet with them and help these niggas out. I'll probably have a better look at the kobolds too. I don't even know what I could do to help, but I'm just here. Fuck it. Hey, you about to get gunned down. Fucking <laughs> 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 <Like, laughs> <inside, bro. Yeah. laughs> twisted limb style. Fucking kobold pokes out the window with an RPG. <laughs> <laughs> well, a kobold's got the T4 planted. It's already done. <laughs> It was over before He's it got started. a chopper coming in. <laughs> AC-130 in the air! <laughs> Better just start that spike. Okay, I... Any, does anyone need healing? Do I have my water skin and Eric? No, and I'm good. Peter. Everyone's all good? I had, the, I had to use Stone's Endurance to reduce that damage, but I'm good. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little weak over here. Okay, uh, are the kobolds reloading? I wouldn't even know that, to be honest. I'm pretty sure I'm unaware of that. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, Okay, assuming they're going to do something, I'm going to throw another match to the to the right of us to distract them because they're stupid. Mm. Mm. I'm interested to see how this plays out. <laughs> I <did that>. <laughs> <laughs> if I burn it, I'm going to be lit. That'd be so lit. Okay, we know what cool. happened last time someone burned down I'm the forest. I'm curious if we're going to light another forest or fire on episode <laughs> one, bro. It'll take care of the kobolds. Yeah, I'll I'll throw a, I'll throw a match to the right of us so they won't be looking at us. Man, we about to fight him again this early in the campaign. <laughs> you gonna come out of nowhere? All right, All right. is that end your turn? Yeah, I think that's it. Man, okay, ahead. and we have uh Pierre Johnson's turn again. You said Pierre? Hey yo, Pierre Johnson. <laughs> Pierre? Pierre, Pierre Jacques. 
You're French now, for real. Hey, um, Key Stripe Burger, you guys got some water? Yes, sir. You gotta say, like, uh, like Ski Mask, though, some water. 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 Can, I, can, water. I hold, can I hold that water real quick? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, like, dying over here. Yeah, take the water skin. Take my water skin. Alright, so I'll take this water skin. I'm gonna use my healing hands on myself to get four HP back. Okay. Alright, just so you guys know, I'm out of healing. My shit's on cooldown. Uh, Alright, so we're out of water. Uh, I'm gonna I'm run inside so I don't get shot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I actually, I'm gonna ask, why the fuck are you over here, actually? Because I wanted to tell you guys that kobolds are bad to light in the sun, and also I saw a nigga get filled with arrows, like, instantly, so I wanted to make sure nobody's imploding on themselves or nobody's dying or anything. Like, can I, like, throw him out of the shade? Oh, which one, me? Yeah, you. I can't throw a fucking Goliath in as large. Yeah, I'm pretty light. You probably could toss me out of the shade. Roll, roll a, a, a strength check. Okay. What's the weight that you are, uh, Key? Yeah, hold up, how do I check that? I'm light. It should be in your character sheet on the second page with your appearances. Second page? I'm like, oh, I'm 220. Never mind. Sorry. You yeah. <laughs> 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 He said, "Oh, he rolled an eight. So what happens is, uh, Peter J Peter Johnson is trying to lift up a uh, key real fast. He says, oh, 'I'm I'm not that heavy. Don't worry.' It immediately her needed to disconnect his back, lifting incorrectly. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What race is key, man? He's a half orc." Mm. I forgot I'm like actually big body for real. I'm like six and 220. I right. said I'm right. You <laughs> <laughs> set me up for failure. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. Yeah, we, we got this. They're not looking at us. I'll right. just make a backup character tomorrow. It's fine. Make a backup character. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, with, with, your her, with your herniated yeah. disc, you have uh, just a small movement of 10 feet off your movement speed. God, I really broke out. Oh my god. Y'all are making some questionable decisions in there, man. <laughs> you <laughs> weighed me. <laughs> hey, bro, hey, bro, just run without him. Just go without him, man. You can make it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to yeah, leave this, man. You're gonna have to leave for real. I'm gonna just move right here. <laughs> <laughs> that is insane. Man, you crippled this man. <laughs> I, he got a hernia, dog. This man's gone. Man, he shot his own teammate, and now he's crippled. This is just a bad role. It only takes dog. a it only takes a little bit of time to heal a herniated disc. It's okay. About six Ooh, months. About six months to a year. Great. All right. <laughs> After <laughs> gonna be like half the campaign, but okay. <laughs> 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 Bro, final boss, you'll be able to move. It'll be lit. Bruh. I can fight. <laughs> It'll make you feel stronger. <laughs> All right. Be zooming. After Peter Johnson, it is Guy's turn. I'm Simon, freshman year. It's crazy. Okay, so if I finish climbing, how much movement will I have left? Uh, Five Ooh. feet. Five. I need to roll another strength check for me. Mm. Or athletics check. Nineteen. All right, you managed to successfully climb the last uh, twenty-five feet and push open the hatch and see. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, no, no! I'm not pushing that shit. Open. I'm tired of that shit, man. I'm tired of that shit. I got, I got a small rope. <laughs> okay, fifty. That 50, shit around, man. fifty feet of hemp rope. It, man, it's forty-five right now. It's dangling. I'm holding on to five of that shit, man. Y'all can climb that shit up. Y'all gotta jump for that shit. <laughs> okay. So as you reach the platform, you hear a kachunk noise.
You told me they locked that shit on me, man. I'm, that's not, I'm not saying that. Can I drop that rope and try to punch that shit open? Uh, so, if you want to try holding the rope. No, I'm dropping that punch. fucking rope, man. Fuck You're dropping rope. the rope. I'm going to beat that. All right, so you managed to take out your rope and then drop it. So that's your bonus action right there at the start, taking out, dropping it. So then you're going to use your action to punch the the thing, correct? Oh, I'm going to try to punch through that shit. Yes, sir. All right, roll to hit the trap door. Twenty-two. All right, you managed to successfully punch the door. Roll damage. Motherfucker. The fucking door eats this shit, bro. <laughs> For fucking breakfast. <laughs> Six. Eleven. Eleven damage. <laughs> All right, so uh, you don't manage to break through it. But you managed to put a small hole in it, but it doesn't like open all the way. But you put a decent fist size hole in the ground of okay. the trap door. What, 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 how to explain it easier is you punch it so hard it blitz the hole, trap door opens, hits the ground, and falls back closed. Is a more accurate way to describe it. Good enough for me. Okay, I'm done. I can't all do right. anything after that. Yeah. After that is a stride breaker. Hey. I'm gonna try and use all my movement speed to. Well, I'm gonna use all my movement speed to get to the entrance here. And am I near a guy or whatever? Uh, guy's fifty feet up in the air. Well, I'm I'm a sitting there and kind of just find cover for now. There's no cover inside. It's just like a square tower, open floor. Ah oh, shit! Damn, can they see me? The cobalts? No, the door's no, closed. No, door's closed. Oh. Well, I'm you wait you hear some scratching noise. Like, <laughs> knock on the door. <laughs> yeah, I'll knock on the door. All right. They don't know. Our... I mean, they hey, it was know. good. <laughs> All right. After that is a uh, Garan's turn. Now what? Gar do Garan. Garan. He muted his mic. Oh no. My fault. It was muted. I was eating. <clears throat> I, I throw sign another firebolt at one of the windows for okay. some more cover for um, my boy Peter Johnson and Key. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need that. <laughs> another nat 20. Let's fucking go. You guys are so fucking lucky right now. Oh, man. <laughs> Put the counter on too. Put the counter on. Is that two now? That might be on next week's uh, overlay. Oh, that'd be lit. Do what? Last campaign we had a, a D twenty, like uh, a natural twenty counter, where I would keep track of how many times everyone rolled a natural twenty. Oh. Do I need to roll for damage if I'm not really hitting anything? Like a person, or no, you're saying objects, so just do the thing. Okay. Since it's a natural 20, blow off the the window cover for that one, too. You can hear <clears> some <throat> shrieks and a panic from the kobolds. All right, that ends my turn. All right, after that, it is the kobolds again who can see only key in the shade. Oh, shit. Damn. I got a backpack though. Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if he hadn't lied to me, I would I would have been able to <laughs> eat your shit out of there. <laughs> Let's get this twenty in a backpack. Let's see what happens, dog. Oh no, I'm light, bro. <laughs> nah, bro, he light. I really thought I was if thinking. Anything, if anything, blame Stridebreaker because he didn't try to throw you out. Bro, he could have <laughs> carried your ass inside with you, with him. What the okay, fuck? Okay, I thought about doing that, but I fucking autopiloted. <laughs> no man, it's okay, man. I'm really, I'm gonna see how backpack works. I'm being dead ass. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're gonna roll. Again. 
This dude's so, limit breaking with a backpack. <laughs> so <laughs> only two only two of the kobolds are gonna take a shot because the other ones are trying to like put together a plan. All right. What's your armor class, by the way? My armor class should be. Well, let me check it out. It should be. I'm wearing leather armor, so it should be like white, right? What's your oh, AC? Let me see. First, the first sheet. All the right, so both, okay. both of them, both arrows hit. Damn. Chunk, chunk. Back time. Roll for back time. <laughs> <Roll for backpack. laughs> Six plus four. Ten damage. Damn! I'm gone! Right. <laughs> I'm dead! <laughs> he sleep? No way. Yeah. Oh my god. This man just picked up by two? Hold on. Restless endurance. Restless endurance. I have one HP. Restless endurance. There you go. Half yep. work life, baby. Let's go. The half work life. Oh, let's go. I needed that. That's half work joint. <laughs> Feel that That's I got okay. something like that too. Stone's endurance. Oh, let's go. We need to stay up. Enjoying. <laughs> All right. After that, it is a uh, Q's turn. All right. <laughs> Damn, I don't even know what the fuck I want to do in this fight, bro. Are you fighting the kobolds? Sorry. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press forward. Mm -hmm. Let's see. How much movement speed do I have? I'm going to use the dash action and go completely up to... Yo, Peter, are you good? I'm fine. Okay. He's good. I what did I cover one of the windows for him? Okay. I'm in the light. Yeah. I'm, I'm going. Straight, I'm going. I'm going straight up. Straight into the tower. Yeah, straight into the tower. All right. I, I, my back kind of hurt, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I so see you're just sprinting there in that inch turn. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so as three of you guys are now inside the tower, you hear a large, a loud clunk, and it sounds like like a bunch of like air being manipulated, and then you can you can hear the pattering start uh, walking towards the back side of the tower, and then it it goes silent up on top. All right, so back at the top of the order. We have Key's turn. All right. Uh, backpack didn't work out. I'm kind of dying. Uh, You're not dead, though. You got one HP. I know one HP. I'm going to definitely... I mean, I can make a beeline for the tower. Like, There's no need to go into this one. I'm going to make a beeline for the tower and meet up with the rest of the peoples. Don't All come right. inside. We don't know what's going on. Just stand oh, outside. I... Wait. Also, high key. Can I, can I carry uh, Peter with me? Cause I'm big body. Like, <laughs> uh, roll. I'm like six six. Wait. Oh. He's a D one athlete. Yeah. <laughs> How heavy is Peter, man? Can I get an athletics check, please? Yeah. Got you. I'm only one eighty five. That's sixteen plus athletics is strength. Yeah. Plus three, so that's eighteen. So you are successfully able to pick up and carry uh, Peter. Swag. That's cool, guys. Swag. I'll stay out here. <laughs> you're you're guarding the. Uh, I'll, watch, I'll watch over Benny and the other uh, twelve crew members. All right, me, me, and Peter head into the tower, away from the arrow fire. Let's go see nine. Let's go, and. Uh, yeah, I, I just want to get updated. What's happening with the rest of the people here? What are the kobolds doing? Like, where they are they? Debated something. I don't know what. Man, yeah, something. Uh... I'm hanging off the wall, 50 feet in the air. <laughs> watching the game for two seconds, and they fucking come back. 
For real. There's like a wooden floor above us, right? Yeah. And that's where you heard the machine? Yeah. Yes. I'm going to tell you, yes, we heard it from above us. <laughs> <laughs> I think Guy is up there. You, oh, oh, we can't. We can't. I thought we, I thought we could break the floor and make the machine fall down and then jump them. Because if we go up there one at a time, they're going to shoot at us. Like, that blows. Uh, I guess we have to meet Guy up there. Too bad he dropped yeah. that rope. If only he had a rope. <laughs> only he had a rope. <laughs> what up, boys? I guess I'm going to begin... I have one HP, dog. I'm going to begin climbing towards the hatch. He about to die. <laughs> just let it. Don't do it. Bro, don't. What else can we do? Like, do we just sit and wait? Yes, because you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> you like, the guy's right. up there. Hey, man, start, start cooking. Down start here cooking. at least. You, you've done your job. Just start cooking. Start chefing up there, man. Start a little campfire in the tower, man. <laughs> Build a camp, bro. Burn the tower down, bro. It's a stone tower. You're already trying to burn the forest down, man, with your two matches. <laughs> Thankfully, because it rained the night before, it's a little damp, so it doesn't spread. See, I didn't burn anything down. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're, We're playing to the weather strengths. You didn't say it rained last night when I was on watch. Yeah, I did. No, you did not. You said I saw eyes all over me. I said it was yeah, raining remember, from the thunderstorm. Thunder. We, we, no, because when we were walking through the thing, he said we saw rain and thunder from the, the god of uh, Ghidorah. Yeah. Yep. yeah, he did. Thunderstorm started when we were asleep. That was the first night. That was the first night, yeah. Yeah. All right, so I guess I'm going to just ready up down here. I'm going to pull out my short swords and just be ready for anything. And I'm just chilling down here now, all one HP. All right, uh, Peter Johnson. You're up next. What can I even do, dog? I'm hip. <laughs> I'm gonna ask, do we have a plan of action? Or are we just gonna wait down here? Where the fuck did a uh, guy go? He's up there. Dude, can we signal him? Like, do we have any way to, like, get him to come down here? Man, you gonna catch me? I could fall right now. <laughs> Mo, big bodies. <laughs> it's time for redemption, Peter Johnson. <laughs> nah, you're gonna squash that man with my body. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look at my items real quick. Okay, my backpack. Hey, bro. My... Let me check my weight real quick. Mm. Hold up. We have mm. bedroll too, right? You could probably cushion his fall if he just wants to drop without having to carry him. <laughs> <laughs> or you could use the backpack too. Just stack up. Bro, backpack got nerfed. I thought it was going to be Backpack did get nerfed in his patch. I'm so blown. <laughs> that was a master strat, too. I thought I was going to be safe. Sorry. I'm looking up some new shit. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I'm doing anything. I'm just going to... I'm going to I'm gonna lay against the wall because my back hurts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man, what happened, bro? Such an L. Man, can we get him a wheelchair at the next town? Yeah, we got to buy the wheelchair. That's going to increase your movement speed. My turn's over. <laughs> get one of those motorized scooter joints. She going to cripple you, bro. You turn you into urn. <laughs> Just about to say. Like, I'm out of every ball of chicken feet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so after that, we have a uh, guy's turn. All right. Someone's trying to break this door still. Okay. Do I roll the hit or nah? Yeah, roll the hit again. <laughs> oh, I can't math right now. 16. That hits. All right. I still have to roll damage for this door, man. Yes. Fucking piece of shit. Uh, nine. As you punch the door, punch the trap door, it just obliterates completely, exposing you to like the top of the uh, tower. Dude, can I finish climbing in, man? Yes. I. What do I see? 
emptiness. You look over to your left and see uh, a wire at the back of the tower extending all the way to the tree line. And as you look out, the last thing you see is a kobold hopping off this zip line thing and running into the woods. Uh, oh. But the thing is, none of you guys saw it because you were all on the south side or in the tower. That's just collapse on all <laughs> 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 Guy saw it. Guy did see it, but it's too late. He got bad. Yeah. Mm. We got hit with the hit and run. All right, all right. Oh, this is rot. What if they come? Hey, you said it's a wire, right, man? Yeah, it's like a, a wire, a long right. wire. So I'm gonna pull out this crowbar, the man. Steel. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna zipline down. Blabber. Okay. okay. Oh no, Clan is gonna die now. Yep, they're dead. <laughs> a no, cold no, no, no. wire. Oh, oh dude, you're gonna run them down. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You wanna go down the uh oh, zip line? Oh. Okay, I want you to roll me an acrobatics check. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> RPG. <laughs> what's my what's my negative? Two okay, that's fine. We can work with this. All right. You get about 20 15. feet down the zip line. Hmm? 15. Okay. As you get about halfway down, you notice that the wire starts to shake a little bit. It's not sturdy because it's designed for small kobolds who are only about four feet tall, not, not right. hulking monstrosities. <laughs> so you... You managed to hold on all right. However, the wire snaps, dropping you 20 feet to the ground. I... Where you take 2d6 fall damage. 2d6 again. Let's go, baby. Four. Okay. Can we work with that? We, we can. And you, you land about right there on the ground. Wait, do they hear that shit, man? Do they? Do they hear that shit? <laughs> I mean, at that like, they the people inside the tower can hear a clunk. <laughs> the windows ate shit outside. <laughs> Am I able to see that? <laughs> you were able to see about half of you. You see like a like a body tumble, like half exposed to the thing. Like, what the fuck was that? Shit, I accidentally closed rule 20. Nice. <laughs> the, the body that tumbled outside has suddenly disappeared from the battlefield. <laughs> All right. Man, just DDoS is in midair. Well, disconnected. Weak. Mm. You also land prone, by the way. I'm going to spend the rest of my action to get up. <laughs> Like, oh, just, uh, <laughs> just, uh, brush it off, you know. Just uh, mm. yeah. And uh, when this loads, I'll yeah. All right, what's going to happen? All right. So the kobolds have all fled, leaving you guys just in the tower by yourselves. But you don't know this because guy hasn't told you guys anything. But, uh... Oh my! And he did. <laughs> <laughs> he could have yelled. That's what I'm saying. Yelled. So for for all you know, as soon as guy went up there, he was immediately slaughtered. For all you guys know. Yeah, we just had a fall for real. <laughs> you did, bro. You did. They cut his head off and threw his body out the window. That's <laughs> his body's big. His heavy. I mean, his head is big. Dang. Pause. Yeah, <laughs> No, right? No, that is a big pause. That's a rewind. That didn't happen. Nigga got dark mauled. <laughs> no, no, no. RG, he's okay, going to do with so Hold on, hold on. Time out. Final time action. Off. Hold on. So not only did Guy dip, he, he broke the wire too, right? <laughs> yeah. You can't, you can't go back down that way. 
effectively leaving us with no like we don't even know he's not up there anymore and now yeah. we have to go on the tower. no escape we have to climb the tower you guys are on the first floor you guys could just run out yeah. the run out run the door you guys came in but we don't but know we that don't know we don't know. Yeah, you don't know that but if you know dude that's no, why you got Goran over there man no 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 you got Goran looking at me like I'm a dumbass <laughs> you're gonna have to climb the tower and just, just be there so so Goron now sees a uh, guy just running towards the woods. <laughs> Alright, so what you want to do your last action there, Tofu? You just wanna run? Okay, wait. Would I be able to hear them? Oh my god. god. The kobolds. The kobolds. You can just hear us complaining. Roll a perception versus their stealth. You're gonna get RJ, RJ DMC, uh, DMCA. Perception's wisdom, right? Yeah. Mm. Buddy. I'm just gonna, just gonna casually, uh, we have a repetition <laughs> earlier today. <laughs> so you, you in a day's state from falling and everything like that, look around real quickly. And you see a million kobolds just everywhere in the woods. Is what you see. Is what you think you see. Kobolds just everywhere. Man, that fall was something. <laughs> <laughs> Am you good, bro? I'm gonna use my action to dash back over here, man. I'm just gonna get away from that. <laughs> Let me just uh, just get away from the woods. <laughs> I'm crying, bro. This has been this has been the worst adventure. <laughs> we got fucked by nature like what twice? This is day one, bro. We haven't even finished day one. Oh my god. Technically this is day three. I'm in but... session. This is session. Episode session one. one. Session one. This is session one. This is only my third day out here. <laughs> bro, you gotta <laughs> save these pods, RJ. This is content. Oh, uh, I'm gonna save the pods. He's streaming right now. Yeah, download, upload them to them. YouTube after this too. At no, who? The tower or the people? The tower, man. I'm gonna throw a rock at that shit. All right, you get the rock at the tower. We'll hit the tower. Yeah. Nice. First fight. <laughs> Natural twenty, baby. Let's go. All right, you I managed to rock. strike the tower. Roll damage. Remember, Roll it's damage a crit, so. Wait, he's gonna break the tower on top. <laughs> <laughs> What's a rock? Is it a D4, man? It's man, awesome. It's, it's crit. It's crit, so you double damage die. Ooh, but they got the Jensen. shield. Wait, Jensen. What modifier do I use for Oof. this? Okay. Uh, it's a strength check with your throw. Dude, Jensen's shockwave was godly. Nine Super damage godlike. to the tower. As you hit the tower, it takes nine damage, and you can see the rock just bounce off of it. Clink, clink, clink. Yes, the only good play he's had all playoffs. All right, uh, Peter John. Oh, nah, Peter, uh, to oh, Tofu's it's thing. Gorn now, right? Tom, I think he just went. It is uh, turn. Stridebreaker's turn. Oh, oh Stridebreaker. shit. Um, it is your turn. Do I hear what guy just you hear hit? That rock? Yeah, you hear a rock hit the side of the tower. 20 rock, man. I'm just awesome. like, what Funk. in the world is that? And I walk out. Like towards this side right here. It made the voice of the and heavens. do I see guy? Yeah, that was that was mad disrespectful what just happened there. Oh really? And in, in the Team Liquid C9 game. Yeah. Just oh, I thought you were talking about me. No. No. Nah, you came out and looked at me, man. Like <laughs> disrespect. Yeah, like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing looking at me? What happened? A lot. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Where are the kobolds? How, how many kobolds I got? A lot. In the jungle. <laughs> the forest. <laughs> and I turned back to the people in the tower. I was like, it, it was Guy. The kobolds aren't here anymore. Man. That's the only information that we, we, we exchanged between each other? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to ask him more. Hold on. What, what exactly happened in there, Guy? Uh... You see, I tried flying after the kobolds, man, because I'm like, I'm better than them. Anything <laughs> I could do better. What was that noise? I can't fly. 
Not that. The other one from the tower. The what kachunk noise? No the kachunk noise. Yes, the kachunk noise. The kachunk man. Dude, that was them putting on their wings, man. Cobalt can't fly. Man. Uh, roll, roll a uh, nature check for me. Me or uh, him? Stride breaker. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm pretty sure they can't. That's an 11. So as soon as you say it, you realize that you're a dumbass because there's such thing right. as a winged cobalt that can fly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you said it without thinking, so. I'm just looking at him confused like, what? That's what I'm saying. I'm going to go right back to the entrance like, uh, they're gone, the kobolds. I think they flew. Something. We should probably leave because they're not here anymore. Why? <laughs> Something just seems off to me, I feel like. Why don't we loot the tower? I'm actually here. We could find some stuff. And we can see if there's more kobolds like in the vicinity. So you see that there's no loot on the ground floor where you guys are. You suspect there might be loot at the top of the tower. If we want to loot, we should probably do that quickly. Now, how far is this? This um, uh, what is it called? Fifty feet. How far is it up? Fifty feet up. Fifty feet, yeah. And is that? Does, do I need to use any strength to open up that trap door? No, it's it busted open. Broke You've got to roll. You got to roll two athletics check to climb. A two athletics check? Yep. Right. Oh, two athletics checks. My bad. Yeah. Can I go in there and pick up my rope? <laughs> yes, yeah, so you can go in there and pick All up right, your I'm rope. Alright, I'm gonna try and climb it then. Okay. Bad. You got the rope. The first one is a... a 17? Alright, you managed to climb the first 25 feet. And the second one... Is a 21. All right, you managed to climb the next 25 feet, and you managed to get to the top of the tower. Oh, what do I see? You see some items on, like, on the sides of the tower. You find a, uh, a golden armband that's worth about 10 gold pieces. Like, it's like a little band thing. It has a cool, like, uh, it follows along the end part of your arm, but it's like a ring above your elbow, a ring below your elbow, and then along the elbow is like... Uh, like a solid gold band piece that extends the whole way. It's pretty cool looking, but it's worth about 10 gold pieces. Uh, you find 27 caltrops, which are like those little spikes that you put on the ground and stuff oh, like yeah. that. They're worth about one copper piece each. You find a throwing net. Perfect for catching a creature of medium size or smaller. And, th and you find some like silverware and like some basic food items that was taken from the uh, the crash sites. I kind of yell. I don't, can they hear me down there? Since I'm fifty feet up. If yeah. I yell down there? If you yell down there. Yeah. They have stuff up here. Grab it. <laughs> but what do they have? <laughs> uh, just a bunch of stuff from the crash site and some other stuff that I found. Maybe you guys can make use of it. Hey, bro, toss it down. You All right, I'll grab it. it. Toss it down? I could. Chop down 27 cow chops. I was just about to say. <laughs> yeah, I'm not tossing that down. I ain't tossing that down. No, I'll put it all down. in a bag and then um, I'll see if I can climb down safely. All in the same Wait, time. is there more floors to this before I do that? Or was that it? Hmm. The tower. That was it in the tower. Okay, I'm gonna climb back down then. Peter. Do I need to roll something for that? Stop. It's a Peter. Stop looking at me, Peter. What's up? You have something of mine. Oh, here's your water skin, bro. I appreciate that help. Oh, thanks, dude. Here's yours, too, Key. Thank dude, you. Dude, where's my water? <laughs> um, I have to use it to save a uh, guy's life. I would like to walk over to Guy. And say, you owe me some water. <laughs> I hate that, bro. I'm gonna take his water skin and fill it with some water, man. I got you, bro. Uh, but... I'm gonna go over by the trees, man. 
since I'm down there now, I'm just going to show them all the items that I found up there. I don't know if any of you can use a, whatever the hell these things are, and I point at the caltrops. But they don't look like they're worth much. Uh, I'll, I'll take the caltrops. I'll take them. Right. I hand okay. him the caltrops. I'm going to walk back over here and give him his water skin, man. The kobolds aren't up there, I so I don't know what else you, we can do. I mm -hmm. lead Benny okay. and the rest of them towards the tower. Okay. Oh, oh, boy, man. Catch God. up with what happened. How y'all doing? Mean, Yo, I so I saw a guy just flying out of the fucking tower, man. I heard that. <laughs> It was nobody there when I was there. Like, it was all over by the time I got up here. That is so and, whack. I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> well, shit. Why do you, you think they left? Can... They're scared. I, I was pulling up, boy. I don't, <laughs> I don't think they're scared when they had us, what? Like, they had us gunned down, practically. Yo, <laughs> let's get out of here. Down. Yeah, they let's were about pass. it until we pull up to the tower. <laughs> I guess so. Let's skedaddle. Do you want to chase yeah. the cobalt, or should we just keep going? Dog, I am, the the I, crew members are like, we just want to go home. Please. I look at the crew members and said, I don't care what you want to do. <laughs> well, they said that pathway right there leads to the city. It's only like two more hours to the city from here, probably. Did we go east? To the in, well, East is that way, but... Oh, we're going east. He said this way. This way. <laughs> we're going west. West. Oh, west. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, if you guys so choose to. So. This way. The crew members say they're going back to the city, and then they'll say they get back on their own and they can keep the rewards for themselves. Whoa! 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 whoa. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Rewards. No fucking fun. <laughs> You know what? Maybe <laughs> let's get some supplies. Yeah, I say, guys, we need to restock on water. Yeah. Bro, yeah. what do you mean? We got some water. water, man. I need to find things to reinforce this backpack. Water skin, I'm, I'm not even going to up. He said, I need to buff my backpack. <laughs> I'm going to buff my backpack. I think it's backpack going to turn into Iron Man armor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally going to swing the backpack at an enemy that's going to die. A multi <laughs> multi classing artificer with Ranger. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh my Let's get out of here. Skedaddle. Skedaddle. <laughs> you guys successfully managed to get there. Uh, so you guys, a couple hours later, come across the front gates of uh, Twin City and its glory. This might not look familiar. <laughs> Ooh. Let's shrink down Benny because Benny's not that big. Okay. The North Damn, like Benny, Benny, you big, bro. <laughs> man gets swole every time. Oh, man, so him. there is a gate right there. Just pretend there's a gate there. Oh, bro, how do we go through the city? There's no city. City is this? It's Twin City. The twin city. Oh, what? You guys can't phase through? <laughs> dude, how do you do that? Dude, just climb it, man. I'm fucking stuck, dude. <laughs> Peter, how are we gonna get inside? <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I, I usually let the thinking up to other people. I just kind of act. Oh, good idea. Yo, how are we gonna I open, get in here, I open the gate for them, and I tell them, "Get in here, dumbasses!" How the fuck they get in here? <laughs> It's good to see you. I'm, I'm not climbing anything ever again. I got <laughs> I'm not climbing anything ever again. All right, so uh, Benny and the crew start walking towards the the Capitol building right here. So they're they're gonna walk around this side over here, and then as they're walking, they ask you guys, "How familiar with, are you with uh, Twin City, guys?" I didn't know the city existed. No, <laughs> I'm not. I'm more familiar with the region around the city than the city itself. Hmm. He says, Welcome to the biggest shining example of a class difference there is. And he explains that the uh, the outer reaches, uh, the northeast and the northwest areas, so like northeast, northwest, 
uh, the dark dirt areas are like the lower class people. Uh, they're the more like miners and the farmers on the outskirts. Uh, very few trading people. And if it is, it's just like the basic hunters. Nothing a whole lot there. Uh, the lighter dirt areas here and here are like the middle class areas. That's people who like generally work for the Moriarty Foundation uh, and stuff like that, like the more skilled laborers, the blacksmiths and stuff like that. Why the smiths got to be black? The brown smiths. There you go. The brown smiths make the currency. The blacksmiths make the weapons and armor. The green smiths print uh, like different books and stuff like that. You know how it is. And then the, the upper class areas, the green, the luscious green grass are home to like the more powerful people. So the people who live on the island with the Capitol building are like the nobles, ambassadors to other cities, uh, really skilled wizards and sorcerers and doctors and stuff like that. They live over in this part of the town and stuff like that. I see. Mm. I can we take our boy uh Peter over here to get his uh his hip checked, man? Yeah, there's a there's uh there's a doctor down here in the, the good part of town. I'm gonna need to see that doctor. Yeah, we need Where's a cheap doctor, man. A cheap doctor? Yeah, man. I don't uh, know cheap doctor, but <laughs> I have a little bit of it. You can mug the doctor if he's a good doctor. Mug the doctor. <laughs> Yo. So, uh, based off the knowledge of uh, Benny and the people, they said there is a, a more cheap doctor named uh, Doctor Nick who presides in this house over here in the slummy area. Is his last name Drew? No. Oh my god. <laughs> it's it's Riviera. Are you trying to get him DMCA or banned? <laughs> no, he knew big knew better. True. It's Doctor Nick Riviera. Hi, oh. everybody. Oh my god. Isn't that... Hello, uh, I, I want to stop dying. Okay, so, of course, the only way to get to the poor area is to go all the way around through the nice areas because uh, public transportation and ease of access isn't something normally given to the poor class. That's crazy, bro. That's actually why. So, Benny and them go to the castle first. I want to go with Benny. Yeah, I'm going to follow suit because Benny's going to the doctor. Like, he call, he, they call themselves Benny and the Jets. It's like their their little team name they have is Benny and the Jets. So who's going to the doctor and who's going to the with Benny to the to the people? Oh, we're all going to the doctor. Who's going to the doctor? I'm not going to the doctor. What do I need to go to the doctor for? I'm good. <laughs> I'm, I'm going, going to the doctor. Benny. Man, I'm hemorrhaging. Like Where's the doctor? Boy. Where's the doctor at again? Uh, it's DH? this all Benny. over here. Oh, so I was over there. I was over it's there. A, already. Yeah. It's a long no, way. Gotta we gotta walk around. We gotta, we gotta go, go the, past the castle. And then go all the way. Go through the rich and go through the poor, man. The middle class and the poor. Okay, so what do we see in the in the rich areas? And we got a dollar nice area. extravagant houses, three stories tall, the finest like uh curtain drapes. You can see like the purple, like the velvet purple in the windows. The attire that people are wearing are a little more higher class. As you get to middle class, it's, it's you get the the basic like blue and red drapes, nothing like the fancy purple and gold Yo, drapes. But like, thick boy, he got that dump truck. What the? <laughs> Yo. So okay. like, are, are people like being uh being bourgeoisie and like snooty? Are they talking shit? Uh, not really. They tend to mind their own business, but they just kind of like they don't outright act snooty, but they kind of like feel it internally. All right. Can I overhear any 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 to speak of adventure or money or anything? So you hear uh as you're passing through, you hear a small little conversation back and forth talking about the traveling circus that's going through and that they're actually going to be stopping by the Twin City in a couple weeks or so and that they have the the schedule for this year's uh carnival events and where the town's going to be stopping and everything like that. So, go back to the the town, man. Where the city met. So they said that the traveling circus will be actually starting uh, in the sludge over here, and they'll be starting there in about a week or so. 
and in about two weeks we'll have traveled to Twin City and then down to the crossroads and then over to Castow the week after that and then Gaham the week after that. And then they'll end their journey in Miramor for the northern uh regions carnival events this upcoming uh year. Mm. Mm. And they talk about the great entertainments, the different uh like games and stuff like that that'll be available. They have the traveling uh bard who gives plenty of stories and alongside of that come like the different peddlers who are able to sell merchandise and stuff like that to different towns and cities along the way. The peddler and bard eh? Those guys, huh? Do they have good songs and good deals? There's some, there's some pretty good songs and pretty good deals. Yeah, you might have to hit them up. Mm-hmm. The library anywhere? Uh, so, uh, you roll a roll a history check. Nineteen. You know that before you went on this journey, you saw a newspaper article, and you remember it, saying that uh, about three days from now, they'll open a brand new library, the biggest library on the continent in the city of Castow. And like in this library, they're going to have books from throughout the years, centuries old, uh, some newer stuff as well, different articles, like newspaper articles from a history and everything. Like, it's going to be like a huge documentation, really big. It's going to be called the Candlekeep Library. Mm-hmm. What about the what the city we're in now in Twin City? Twin City, Twin City. Right now, they just finished constructing their new uh, sewage system, and so they're looking forward to having the new underground sewage stuff take place and flush out the trash and stuff uh, away from where they're living and everything like that. So modern modern day inventions is gonna take it down the river, down to like the crossroads and to the sea out, over by uh the port gibbery over here where it like dissipates Sick. into the water but it's okay they got say the art filtration systems they'll catch everything in biodegradable stuff and everything like that so it won't be a, a trash like issue wow won't have they're pollution. going green no, for real, that's cool. going to be a huge pollution problem yeah good for them i thought like uh, if they would anger the gods in some way or just nature in general uh they and they built it because they were angering the god beforehand the god of water <laughs> Oh, oh, word. <laughs> All right, back to the city. I'm going to get to this doctor because I'm, I'm hemorrhaging. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he, he is offering to hold, to heal each of you guys up for 10 gold pieces each. Can we get that lower? What do I have to do? <laughs> Threaten <laughs> him. Threaten <laughs> him. Threaten <laughs> him. <laughs> to be not getting healed at all. So I have gold pieces. Can I, can I get him to to heal me first, then I pay him back later? <laughs> oh <laughs> Jesus! Can he I wanted get to shit on Leo, hey? <laughs> He said, "Bro, I'm good." I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. He says, "If you want to do a payment plan, how about you do something for me instead?" Uh, oh, I I have a I have a shipment of medical supplies. They got sent to the wrong doctor, Nick Riviera, and this one got rerouted to Lakeview up in the north. Uh, if you could, could you go up there and retrieve my medical supplies for me, and we we'll call it even for you and the rest of your group. Oh yeah, dude, that sounds great. Actually, great. Yeah, <laughs> gotta go deal with Lakeview. Are they are they rich over there? I mean, they're normal city setup. You have your better areas, you have your little less better areas, but overall, it's it's decent decent city. I just hate people that think they're better than me. That's all. I'm just trying to see. The, so you know that this, it's the southern uh, parts of the con- of the continent think that they're a little better because they're from the former Tehran Empire, so they're a little used to a little bit more like extravagance from having the larger empire, but the northern people are a little more humble and work harder for their work and see everyone a little bit better.
All right. Well, I'm down to go get the shipment, guys. What about you? I'm totally down too. I just need to know more. Like, are there any like opposition? Anything we need to look out for? I'm. I mean, I guess you on your. Up my shipments, what? <laughs> I'm not asking you to go fight a dragon. Come on now, just pick up some medical supplies, bring it back. Hey, I'm just saying, if you're <laughs> money for free just for a shipment, there's got to be some other cash. I mean, you're going to go get it for me. I don't have time to go get it. The only thing is, it takes five gold to access uh, the the airship that can travel you from Twin City to Lakeview. It's five gold a person, and that's that's for the lower level stuff. And hey, yo, wait, don't 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 you got a stimmy? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> don't you got a stimmy? A stimmy? What, what what are you talking about, stimmy? Who do you think I am? He ain't got the stimmy, bro. Broke, broke. I'm he said, he explains that this stimmy that you're talking about was only for people who qualified over a certain income <laughs> level because they had to qualify for government assistance at some point in the past. They were merely disqualified for having stimmy available to them. So it was mostly the upper class people who somehow made less than $120,000 a year who stimulated, uh, who got the stimmy checks this time around. Unlucky. That does blow. Well, I'll take the healing, and we'll definitely do that quest for you. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it a lot. No problem. Man. I think he walked out the door and said, we are not getting that shipment. <laughs> we already know. <laughs> yeah, wait. He, he says, I know that flying to Lakeview and everything and back takes a couple of days. Uh, like, Because normally when you guys walk on the map and everything like that, it's like one hex is one day of travel. And with airship, it covers two hexes in one day. And you don't have to follow the roads or anything like that if you want to. So from Lakeview, it's... It's like a six-day journey. What the... It's actually yes. very... This package must be very important. Like... <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's like anesthesia, other medical tools, uh, medications for the poor and everything like that. Yeah, bro, we'll be sure to get it for you, man. It says, oh, and, and by the way, uh, I'll remember you guys. Me too, oh, man. We have to do it. He said he'll remember us. We have to do it. Man, this ain't no walking, dead. Get that shit out of here. You <laughs> chill, tell, tell. Nah. So anyways, have fun, guys. Uh, go on and don't get hurt again too quickly. Very worried. So, how much are we healed for? Is it full? Uh, you're going to be healed up for full HP. Bro, did yes. we get a wheelchair? <laughs> it, he kind of he kind of looks at at Peter and just kind of like tells him to lay down on this this little bench thing in front of it. He says, "Okay, put your arms up," and then he he knees him in the back at just the right spot to pop the disc back into place. He uh, Peter is excruciatingly in pain from the kick, but his back feels wonderful. Is he unconscious? You guys... No, he's perfectly conscious. Oh, Peter, Peter, carry me again. He says, you know, we would have anesthesia to help numb it, but it got shipped somewhere else. It's, it's cool. It's cool. Thanks. I appreciate you. Glad we could help. Peter, yeah. take me back right. Bro, fuck you. Azamar <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't get a break around here, man. Anyways. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go lay down in the corner over there. Yeah, you might want to relax on that for a couple hours so it heals fully. So we'll go back to the castle if you guys want to join later on or what. I'll be over a little bit. Uh, we'll just... I mean, I'm back for some more of the poor district. See what's going on. I could carry my boy Peter back. We could walk slowly, man. <laughs> I'm trying to carry me you on your back. I mean, I can, bro. You can do it. You don't weigh 200. <laughs> Let me get on your back, bro. You carry yeah, me. I got you, man. You can carry somebody. Wait, aren't you at the castle? Wait. No, it's me and Gorin. Uh, I need to figure out which token's which half the time. All right. Yeah, only only here uh, needs to be carried for real. I think I'll I think I'll explore some of the slums a little yeah, bit. Yeah, carry Peter. 
me so can I, man. I'm already rocking on, on guys back. Can I go ahead and see what's inside the castle? Absolutely, you can follow ahead with Benny and the rest of them in there. Cool. So he, they escort you guys over to uh, oh, the. That? You better take your ass back, Toku. Oh, no, 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 I'm prepping for the walk, man. You guys are gonna finish, and we're gonna be on the bridge, man. We, I'm prepping, man. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So are we good now? In, yeah. Yeah. What's going on in the capital? Okay. So uh, as you guys go in the capital, Benny and them lead you in there bring you to the throne room and you see a couple uh people standing around the throne room right now uh you see these people <laughs> the guy on the left is uh king tostin the guy who sent out your guys's party and the guy on the right is moriarty fox the guy who's willing to pay for the reward for <laughs> retrieving the information or anything like that retrieving so the boxes tostin t-o-s-t-i-n and Moriarty Fox. Okay. Awesome. All right, and you can see them conversating back and forth and everything like that. They're laughing with each other, having a good time. As if they've known each other for quite a while. And uh, they they see Benny and the other workers come in. They say, "Ah, you're back. Do you have our? Do you have my packages and everything like that?" Benny and them hand over the uh, the crates of stuff and everything like that. He opens it up and says, I think there's a few things missing. He looks over at, at uh, you and Goran for being with them. He's like, Did you guys take anything out of this? <laughs> I didn't touch it. Nope. Nothing at all. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I thought I was supposed to receive a letter from someone. Oh, well. Maybe, maybe it's on another shipment somewhere. And so... Uh, as that happens, you see another character walk in, the the court jester. Uh, what the? F this evil hey, Shaco. <laughs> <laughs> jester walks in. He's not in a good mood, so he's not making too many jokes right now. But uh, he oh, seems really? to. Oh really? He's got yeah. a whole knife with him, and there's yeah. blood. <laughs> it's because he, he's he he cut himself all juggling earlier. So. Oh, okay. Every, okay. every time every every step he takes, you, you hear the yeah you hear you hear the bells tingling as he takes a step from his hat and everything like that. The guy's looking at his eye. He says, "Oh, smells in here." Looks at the the people who have looks at you guys who haven't showered in three days or anything like that. I was like, I thought it was the poor who walked in here. It turns out it was just my work, just your workers. But then again, there's not much difference between them. Hmm. I like your fucking hat, dude. <laughs> Thank you. My mother made it. God, she fucking sucks. Oh, we all have jokes now, don't don't we? Anyways, I wasn't joking around. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, he walks over to the king and and says, "I assume these are the ones who, like, took your job notice board, but I seem to be noticing one person short." My my dear old friend Ernesto. Have you guys seen Ernesto as he looks over to you guys? Uh, I want to uh, kind of walk forward and present Ernesto's rapier and his badge and say Ernesto was defeated in battle by a ginormous wreck and Rodaro. Ah. Can I have that rapier? He holds it in his hand and does a quick little flip with it and catches it on his finger, like the blade side down. Like a, like a kind of a juggling trick. He's like, you know, that's what caused the blood on my dagger, but the rapier, nice and small tip. You actually get it without piercing the skin too easily. And then he flips it again and catches it and puts it at his side. He says, well, your majesty and all them, are you going to give them their reward or what? And Moriarty Fox says... Yes, I do believe they are warranting of their reward now. Uh, so I have paid for you guys to have a house in the city that you guys can start a guild out of if you so choose to. 
And so he pulls out a map for you guys and says that you guys are actually going to be right about here. In the hood, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's a waterfront property in the hood. Yo, we got a nice view. I don't know why you're complaining. Of sewage? The sewage go underneath. The the total you part's know, like over here, so it's like it go it wraps around to the backside over there. And the, the water the water the flows that way. Okay. Okay. It says he hey, says, sir. Um, yeah. Are we are we like? You know what? Never mind. Thank you, sir. Thank you. He says that was just the first part of the reward. Second part comes from me, the king. I grant upon you. Uh, five hundred gold pieces for your party to split between between all of you. Okay. He says, "I know that minus Ernesto, there were quite a few who took the quest. I think it was one, two, three, four. He's counting on his fingers. One, two, three, four, five. That's about six of you that took the quest. So, what's five hundred divided by six? He's thinking in his head again because he's a little older. He's a little slow. You know how it is." Dude, I suck at math too. He says, I'm going to give each of you guys 83 gold pieces. And then the remaining, like, $2, two pieces of gold will go to taxes. We got so you... tax. Hey. That's cool, though. He says, For the first year, your house has no tax on it. Like, there's no, it, there's no payment for the house. It's covered for one full year. After that, it has a monthly payment of about 400 gold pieces. Oh my god. Sheesh. <laughs> Yo, we bought a move. Yeah, a mortgage. Are you opening to, to refinancing? Uh, <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, however, the larger your guild gets, the farther closer to the center of the city you can move. For instance, if you see all those buildings, he points out the window. All these buildings along this stretch right here are all different guild buildings, like high ranking guilds and everything like that. So if you guys keep working hard, expand your numbers. Uh, become more well known. You guys could start moving up to a higher guild building, which again get covered for the first year once you move into them. Is there anything else you want to ask? Hey. Should, should I should I give him the letter or should I just keep it? Because I kind of just gave it to him. <laughs> I'm not there. Never mind. That's a I, I whisper to uh to Q. Yeah. I didn't even know you had a letter on you, dog. Bro, you gave it to me earlier. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. All right. Well, I'm gonna just keep it because I I kind of just lied to him, and I don't want to get all this gold taken back. Thank you, Your Highness. Yes. We'll be on our way now. Yes. And then Jay pops it. Oh. I'll show them where it is. They haven't been here before, I assume. They looked real confused when they walked in here. I think, says, uh, Your Majesty, I do not want him to lead us. It's like, well, technically, he only works till uh, 7 o'clock, and it's uh, nine, 8 19 right now. So he can do whatever he wants to do. He can follow you if he wants, but it's not my charge. It's like, Damn it. I only pay him for a 9 to 7 day. He gets a two hour lunch break. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's get out of here then. All right. So then, let me put token in for him. Make him smaller. Jeez, that dude is big. Fuck. He's like. So, where are you guys from as he's walking? I'm not talking to you. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. Just allow me to talk for you instead then. He says, So what did you really find on that airship? Because I know those two are hiding something, but I can't quite place my finger on what. Keep walking in silence. It's you guys pass a guy and whoever else is with guy. Cause their color, their tokens cut off. Oh, Peter, dude. Peter, Peter, Die, Peter bro. We Peter got a crib. <laughs> we got a whole house. Dude. Nice, dude. I call the master bedroom. 
I... Is it is it next to water? Yeah, it's a nice. We got a waterfront water. view. Hey, that's lit. We're in East Side Chicago, though. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Chirac. Oh my God. <laughs> Chirac. Chirac. Fucking lit, bro. Is... Oh, are these your other friends? Nice to meet you. My name is Jay. I'm the jester for the king. Hey, you're stride breaker. Nice to meet you. Is that a nickname? Because that doesn't sound like a very good first name. Yes. My first name is hard to pronounce. I'm Thanoth. So people no just problem. call me Stridebreaker or T. You should okay. like. Uh, no issue. T. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from the far north. Oh, the town the of Far North. Isn't that where that Santa Claus man comes from? Yeah. Oh, I heard he's supposed to be coming to our domain this year. One can hope. I've been a good boy this year. I've only messed with a few children here and there. Oh. I swear, they walked into my jungling leads. Oh. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> That's, that Santa Claus is supposed to come this year. <laughs> It was always my guys, favorite holiday once every seven years. Guys, guess what? What? We got 500 bands from the game. Hey, yo, that's cool. Money. It's like 83 per person. Yeah, he took two gold for taxes, but we live rent-free, so. For the first year. Pretty good deal. Let's get do. going to the house. Yeah, let's go to the crib. Bloop, and we're just gonna skip forward to the crib. Oh yeah. You guys, look at the house. It's one. It's one of the few two house buildings in the area. Uh, you open it up. I mean, it's not just a house. It actually used to be a bar slash inn that got closed down. So you can see like the full like woodworking of the the bar that was there. Some shelves behind her. You guys could put different drinks and food and stuff like that. Kitchen area. And plenty of rooms upstairs. There's about 16 rooms in this house. Um, it's I'm on the second floor. Like so many, so much room for activities. And so Jay looks at you guys and says, so what are you going to call this guild of yours? Mm, uh... Uh, I got nothing. Yikes. I don't know, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm not good with names. Clearly. How about how about name it after, <laughs> after Ernesto, who splatted in front of us? Oh, fuck that bitch. Oh, the splatter gang? <laughs> splatter gang? <laughs> splatter gang, dude. <laughs> splatter gang. <laughs> splatter gang. <laughs> it was so disrespectful. <laughs> Splatter in game. honor of our boy Ernesto. We are called the Splatter Gang. Let's go. Oh, that's great. And so, Jay says, so, Splatter Gang, what are you hiding? What do you know? Uh, and he, well, he, what puts, you he crosses his arms a little bit, so, what did you find on that airship? What are, what are you hiding? You sound like a person who touches uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what is the language in that letter to the Moriarty... Uh, infernal. Foundation. Infernal. What what language was that in? It's infernal. So I asked Jay if he knows the infernal language, says, but I don't yes. show him the letter. I just ask him. He says, "Yes, I'm actually quite fluent in it. It's a jester supposed to know as many languages as possible, and but infernal can hurt your throat a little bit. It's very raspy sounding." Hmm. When unspoken, of course, written, it's a little more complex. There's a lot of shapes in there. People get confused for, like, there's different dialects in Infernal. There's an old Infernal, a new Infernal. Like, there's a demonic Infernal, a devil Infernal. It's just a whole bunch of different, like, are you looking for me to speak it? Because I can speak very basic Infernal, but I can read it quite well. I look to the group for consent to show him the letter. I didn't think I would tell you this, Jay. Don't do it. But I sleep with my socks on. <laughs> <laughs> Be lucky I even told you that. 
<laughs> I just shake my head and not say anything. Yeah, I I do. My head. This man is off. Fuck it. I show him the letter. Jay, do you think you could read this? I I put my palm against my head. Like, ah, yes. I do think I can read this. It's written in Old Infernal, uh, mm. written by the original ten gods. Uh, you know, the original the original gods, the uh, Pochamin, Necronin, the more bestial uh, gods, oh, not the Necronin. humanoid-looking ones. Technically, Chromisa wasn't an original god. She was a humanoid creature born later. I'm talking about the real ones. Biolante, Gidro, Radaro, Wamter. Not Wamter, the other one. Uh, Manda. Manda was it. Yeah, the water god. Speaking of which, boy, you look like you like a cup of water nowadays, don't you? Pointing over at Peter. Peter's not here. Peter's silent. He's taken aback that... Yeah, I'm kind of quenched. Um, you know about my death. <laughs> <laughs> I tell yes, Jane I can... to get on with it and yes. decipher what's in the letter. Is it okay? I'll read the letter. Dear Mr. Banker, we have some grave issues to discuss regarding the animal research facility in Wilwald. There appears to have been some escaping of the beasts. Uh, we require additional coin and money to get back to continue our experimentation on them. Uh, we know that you have a contract written with. Uh, I can't make out this one. This this isn't an infernal. He points to a single like word in there. So this is an infernal. Like, I don't really re recognize this language, but it seems to be a name, most likely of some kind. Uh, but we know you have a contract with this person. We hope we wouldn't want to have any issues arise when it comes to renegotiation. Wishing you the best regards, highly. Highly spelled H Y L L E Y. H Y L L E Y? Yep. Hmm. Hmm. So, ah, so you guys do know more than you were letting on. Why do you want to know so bad? Why? Why, Why do I want to know? Yes. Because this is my name written here. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Bro, what? That's fucking crazy. It appears that you guys know too much. And he pulls out the dagger and the rapier in each hand. You guys can roll for initiative. Man, who's Yo, jump him. Jump him, jump him. It's clobbering time for real. <laughs> Bro, if I, if if anything feels similar, I feel like we're gonna get team wiped here. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> no way. Right. If history proves itself, no, we're not. We're not gonna. We're not gonna. Yeah, so Michael got a three. I really did get a three. You got a thirteen. Did you add your no, X no. modifier to your three? It's literally like plus four, so seven. It doesn't do anything. I'm still laughing. What do you mean? Seven is it's much seven. better than a three. Seven's much better. Oh, it is much better than a three. I thought like it was yeah. just worse. Like it's like penalties by roll bad. What'd you get, Tofu? 18. 18, man. I rolled a 20 and it went down. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Johnson got an eight, so he's below Garan, but above like. And then where's my die? Are we gonna switch like okay. like a maps or shit or no? No, I was doing it right here. I so hope... my piggyback boy. I can't. I mean, I could. That's I could. I so as. Jay pulls out his dagger and the new rapier he got from you, giving him such a wonderful bladed weapon. He is going to uh, multi-attack on the closest person next to him, Garan. He's going to hit twice with oh, the dagger. Are you shield? I have a shield. 
as a right. raise your AC by two. Okay. Wait, shield about, only two? Does it, is yeah. it? Wait, hold on, let me see. I thought shield was two. No, that's an actual shield, but the spell. Is it the spell? Oh, I have a spell shield, yeah. Uh, one reaction, which you take when five. you are hit by an attack. Oh. Yeah, so it's a plus five for him. Plus five. Oh, plus five. Miss. Okay, so 15 for the first one, I assume that misses then? Yeah, I have 16. All right, and then a piddly 13 for the second one, so they both miss. Yeah. Let's go. After that is a uh, guy's turn. All right, so I'm going to open up with dropping that man <laughs> on my back. <laughs> Clobbering time. Go and get him. We're gonna, gonna attack and grapple him, man. All right. Yeah, hold his hands. Hold his hands. <laughs> hold his hands. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, jumping him. All right. He rolled a twelve on his strength saving throw. All right. And I just have to beat that, right? Yeah. All right. So an eighteen beats that. Yeah. So he's not grappled. All right. And I'm gonna use my. What is it called? Fighting style to deal. Is it 1d4? Give me a second. For unarmed attack? Yeah. No, but I have the fighter fighting style of uh, unarmed. Yeah, I, I think it's 1d4. Yeah. I. So I'm going to roll to hit. Do I have to roll to hit? Hey, if you're grappling him, no. Well, you have an advantage because yeah. I'll probably be squirming as much as I can. So 16 and 3, so 16 is 21 hits, I hope. Yep. Yeah, 21 hits. And the D4 would be 4 damage plus 5, so 9. Okay. Alright. And that's it. Okay. After that, we have uh, Stride Breaker's turn. I'm gonna roll it hit on my great axe then. Natural 20. Alright. Want me to do double damage again? For, uh, double damage. Uh, two, da two damage die. Okay. <laughs> Would be 19 damage. Alright. It's a great axe, bro. There's one D12. All right, and with that, Jay's already dead. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh. <laughs> what? He has... <laughs> He's just a normal person. Flattened him. This is, bro. I thought we were gonna have like a boss fight. <laughs> right. I thought it was gonna turn into, like a Yo, great deal. Crazy. Crazy. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Is there evidence? evidence? <laughs> I'm not is there sure. anything on his body, like any any Yo, traps, any him? any any ploys, any instant messages or whatever, like anything that's weird about his body? Yes. He said instant messages. Like, so like, you see a note uh on his pocket, like in his pocket as you search it. it says, read what it says. You fools! Ha ha ha! I baited you all into killing me. What? <laughs> you have set forth a chain of events. That could only happen now. If one god finds my death funny, I will be reincarnated as a grim jester. And I will be const I will be able to live for forever, constantly dying and coming back, essentially, but with all my memories intact. My organization, the masks, will begin its rise now that I am slain. We will unleash our plan across the continent, slowly taking back and causing pain, death and unspeakable terrors across the country and the continent. I wish you all the best in trying to stop us. We are... We have a great deal of wealth at our disposal, a great deal of magic, abilities never before seen that we've tapped into the old history of the world. Good luck to you all. Again, sincerely, Jay. <laughs> okay, so this dude is a part of this weird. I'll just hand the note over, and as I'm explaining about it, they they also get caught up. Like he's a part of this uh, this this organization of basically evil clowns who become satanic evil clowns that could want to take over the world. 
Like if it's just him that becomes a satanic evil clown, right? Not the yeah, no, it's just him that becomes a satanic yeah. evil. I assume more people on, have done the ritual though, right? There on the on the back of uh, the note, you see a small symbol, uh, with a, a organization name on the back. It looks very similar to the symbol from the title screen that we had. And beneath it, the organization is called The Masks. Okay, so how deep do these guys run? Well, why don't you roll a history check? Did I roll a d20 for that? Yep. Yeah. Right. You know, I'll roll a history check too with you, man. Thank you. God, mm. not lit. <laughs> uh, can I check my book of lore to see what they actually do? Yeah. Is what's your book of lore specifically on? Uh, history. A history of the world. Okay, got it. You search so... up. Wow. You, you... Never mind. A fucking six. <laughs> I mean, if it's in the book, you can just read it. Oh, well, okay. Oh, it's intelligent. Cool. He's like, oh, I don't know about cool. this one. Cool. As you turn to the M section of your book for masks, uh, you read yeah, this old. Talking about. What do you mean this ability? Well, I guess. Go ahead. What were you? Saying? All right. In your book of M of your lore, you pull to the the M section find the mass section it says thousands of years ago the masks were an organization that originally worked in cloning individuals uh they would take live people and clone them and train them and brainwash them to become soldiers of them uh, one of the demigods gask was at one point a creation by the mask organization before having his brainwashing technique uh cleaned and basically was able to follow new people instead he still never spoke as was a major uh, point of the mass like creation so they didn't speak because speaking would allow free will and they couldn't have that in there you find a uh, history of the uh, music festival with the goddess of Okarin, where she had used a uh, big Uzi Vert's body <laughs> and took control of it to make some amazing music have a rager of a, a music festival that the demigods of new uh participated in and so it also explains how uh there are these people past and uh g or h gerbo were there and they are members of the mask organization after being cloned and everything like that and that history hasn't heard of them since their destruction thousands of years ago so whatever the new mask organization is it's newer and unknown of in the history. We go be all right, guys. We we go be all right. <laughs> you sure? Because I heard clown Satan, and I don't feel good with clown Satan. Uh, yeah. After watching, I've been playing through Final Fantasy VI and fighting Kefka. Nah, bro, I don't fuck with that. <laughs> well, especially because he, he remembers us. He said he's gonna remember us now. Like. What are the it's, conditions of him like, like resurrecting as a demonic clown? A if, god has to find it funny. If any god believes that his death was funny, then he gets to come back as a grim jester. So if we just erase the evidence of his death, it didn't happen. It didn't well, happen. No, the gods are omnipotent. Damn, it did happen. Uh, Bro, we ran up on that man in the two shots. Okay, so I that think... <laughs> Bro, oh I God. hit him. I hit him for nine, man. Chill out. And you you find a little note tucked into his sock. Actually, it's a little sweaty because you know got that stank feet. But oh and there God. is an actual organization chart. Fancy. It has the lists of. It doesn't have people's names, but it has code names in it. What are the uh, so it's it's kind of like a tree style. So the top the top name is unknown like there's no top like there's an arrow that goes up but there's no name at the top below the uh blank spot is j signifying that he was a higher ranking member and then splitting out from j are five uh code names you have the mind manipulator 
the doll collector, the beast master, the banker, and K master. Okay, can you say that one more time? The mind manipulator, mm -hmm. the doll collector, the beast master, mm -hmm. the banker, and K master. All right. Um, uh, Shit, that means the king's in on this. Yeah. So I'm gonna take mental of that that jester's face, just in case we ever see it again. Because they did say cloning, and they did say grim jester. So just in case he comes back, and uh, I'm gonna pocket that uh, the organization sheet. All right. Hierarchy thing. Are you gonna give it to anybody else? And, uh, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm... I mean, I kind of just say aloud what I see. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we all got context. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the letter that I have with the symbol on it, just in mm -hmm. case I show it to anybody. Or, like, it'll be a clue or something, I don't know. I'll put right. it <laughs> All right, so you guys look at the bleeding out uh, jester on the ground, and you notice that his body is the blood's going out. But you notice that like the blood's starting to turn black and everything like that, and you can see the body actually start to slowly like disappear into the concrete as a whole. Oh my god! It's before crazy. disappearing, the body is now gone, and you notice the black part of his blood starts to slowly close in on itself before it also disappears, leaving just the concrete with no trace of a body ever being there. It's happening. And right. so, you guys now have your new shop area, you have your little inn thing, your guild, named the Slaughter Gang, or Splatter Gang. Splatter Gang. Splatter Gang. So yeah, it's a little empty right now, but you guys are more than welcome to accrue some gold over time, like rent it out to other people. You can make it a restaurant area, get some interior design going on, anything like that you want to do. And so you guys talk so much yourselves about what you guys want to do next. We need to level up. We do. That, but uh, we need to... You guys, you guys pull out this giant map of the continent, and you guys are like, what do you guys want to do now? Dude, let's go to Lakeview, man. <laughs> We're going to walk to Lakeview. Let's walk. Let's take a nice little walk there, man. That's, uh... If you're going to do a straight path, that's a five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven day journey just by walking. Ooh. Oh, we'll stop by the farm. Wait, where the fuck are we? I lost we got you're in Twin farm. City. Yeah, the southern okay. northern yeah. farm. We'll yeah, the, the southern the farm. Su the southern northern farm or the northern northern farm. Dude, just the northern farm, not northern northern farm, man. The southern northern farm. Dude, we can stop by southern. me more, man. We can go on an adventure. We can go to Gaham. We can go to Belle. <laughs> You guys can go all the way up to the far north if you want to. Dude, we can go to Wow Wow World. It's walled. <laughs> Does any of us know anything on this map? Like, has any adventure or money in it? Um, I know I'm from the far north. That's all I know. Malia Marshes was where the Moriarty group was sending gold. Oh, you have and, and a lot of building supplies. Dude, that definitely... That could be our heist, but that definitely that mask thing's gonna come back to bite us in the ass, especially. But those, they also were sending stuff to the seven demi pillars. They were sending stuff over to Kaigi and Woolwald. Uh, you have the tra was. you have the traveling circus that's going from the sledge and so in a week or so around all the way up to Miamor. following along in the ma the main road. Dude, we can go to Poverty Point. God, I kind of <laughs> want to go to the seven demi pillars, bro. Shit. <laughs> Let's go then. I'm down Let's for that. go over there. And we'll make our way to, to our heist like, in Malia. I feel like we should find some work. Get, yeah. our, get our Splatter Gang name out there first. 
do some basic cool. recruiting, get some yeah. recruiting so people to watch over it while you're gone and everything house. like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, this house is in the hood. Someone's going to steal everything. Yeah. It's, it's East Chirac, bro. We got to think smart about this. Not for real. Great call. So, uh, because you guys are spending a couple of days or so looking for new members for the guild and everything like that, you may introduce your second characters as guild members. That way, if something were to happen to your main character, you already have one on standby. Oh, so now I gotta make a second character when my character gets his ass blasted again. <laughs> you see, this is why I made two characters in this case, but not complete the second character yet. Okay, you see, the reason why I did this was because there's eight of you guys originally planned, and it holds 16 people, so you guys can have one additional person in the guild right now. So if something were to happen to your character, you have the second one to pull from. Or third? Shit. I mean, shit, you gotta <laughs> have your first character die clapped. first. Yeah, if we're really good at recruiting... Alright, so, uh, but for right now, your your building only holds 16 people, so, and we gotta have room for, uh, Simon and Kyle when they come, and their characters. So for right now, you guys could have one extra character in your guild. Dude, it's time for Broken Ankle to pop in. Broken Ankle. <laughs> Wait, what's, what's the story with Broken Ankle? What's happening? Twist, twisted Limb was Topha's character from the last campaign who turned evil because they died and were beheaded and everything like that. And then they also blew themselves up in the last fight. That is, that's sad. That's such a bad end. What really happened was Tofu said, I think I have to work on these days we play now. So I said, okay, we'll wrap your character then. And he said, oh, I can stay now. I was like, well, fuck, he's already dead. So he could be a, a villain now. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just basically had a terrorist. Yeah, with an yeah. RPG. With an RPG? Bro. That was real? Yeah. yeah. Nowhere, man. <laughs> Belly, Bellies, that was the guy's name. No, mm -hmm. this Fuck this that guy. This motherfucker suicide bombed like three times. He just kept taking us out, bro. Alright, so it looks like you guys are going to be heading down to the seven demi pillars I heard was a good idea from people. I'd like mm -hmm. to go there. Yep. Alright. So we are actually going to end our session there for today. You guys reached level two for your glorious adventuring stuff for today. Next week, we'll begin your guys' travel down through the southern twin forest, through the hot springs resort to the seven demi pillars. Where you guys can investigate the, the money sending from the Moriarty Foundation to the seven demi pillars. So it's looking like it's going to be... Uh, a one, two, three, three day journey ish or so to uh, about three and a half day journey to the Hot Springs Resort, and then about three days after that to get to the seven demi pillars. It's taking about a week journey, so you guys have to get some food together, get some water, get all everything stored in your backpack for rations and everything like that, because y'all going to be eating and looking for food and stuff. We're going full open world. You guys are gonna be able to explore water. everything. Hell yeah. We need to get extra water for healing just in case Peter can pull off the healing. Alrighty. Good so, job, boys. Right. So everyone can level up now. Day episode one. Episode one is now coming to a close. We will see each other again next Sunday. Same time, same place on Discord and Roll20. And so everyone lived. Okay. Everyone lived. Only some people oh. went down after session one. Only a lot of people died. went down. Well, that that was barely. First encounter. Barely, some people barely lived. Yeah, we have multiple well, people. First people encounter down. was Brian. Yeah, that was, that was down down awesome. first. I couldn't even climb. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna say, bro, that cliff. That cliff had it out for me. I'm <laughs> 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 weak, bro. My man, not one off the cliff. <laughs> you really had a rough to be honest, yeah. I only went down line. once, man. I only went he down. Fell off the line. You are a veteran, dog. <laughs> Do you want to send the second character sheets whenever, RJ? For the guild members? Yeah, RJ? just send them whenever. Alright. If you guys can, send me the first character sheets too. Oh, I, I seem Where to I sent you mine. Yeah, yeah I'm that pretty sure too. I sent you mine. That shit was an yeah. MS.